Back in the game, baby! This segment of Uber Jeep AZ brought to you by Barfucks Coffee. Barfucks, where the real OGs wake up and take their one night stand from the club last night. Wake up to your hot cup of Barfucks. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's Tuesday night, and it's right before the um, Thanksgiving Thursday coming up. And look at all these drivers, man. Look at all these drivers sitting up there. 29 plus 15. That's 44 drivers in that queue. 44 in that side right there. Then you go over to the other side, and you're going to get 37. So 44 and 37, that's just on Lyft. That's not counting Uber. Those are just Lyft drivers right there. Some of those might be actually driving on Lyft too, but that's just showing you who's all sitting up there online right now. Online, there's no surge. I'll go online real quick to show you. There's no surge up there. I'm going to go offline because I don't want them to send me a route or nothing like that. So I'm going to go offline real quick. But that's who's sitting online right now. now I'm going to go through schedule rides and show you what all these schedule. Look, here's schedule rides down here. So let's see if it. All right, here we go right here. Schedule rides. Most of them are going to be airport. See, there you go right there. That's the first one right there. 928 tonight. So that's in about, you know, 30 minutes from now. Seven miles Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Scott Harbor, right where I just showed you. But this is the thing. They're only paying the driver $9.28 for seven miles, not even $2 a mile. Now, this is Thanksgiving. They're probably charging that person for seven miles to get out of the. They're probably charging them five or six dollars a mile. Anything between thirty five, forty two dollars to get out of the airport between thirty five, forty two, probably even up to fifty dollars to get out of the airport for Thanksgiving. Paying the driver nine twenty eight. So riders, if you're on Lyft and you're wondering why you can't get a ride out of Lyft, out of the airport using Lyft, this is why. They're only paying the drivers $9.28 to go through all that crazy Thanksgiving traffic. We got to get into the airport to pick you up, get you, then get out. This is And it's 17 minutes just from the airport to where you are, 17 minutes. We've got to get through there. It's going to take us about 15, 20 to get in to get you. So it's over 30 minutes, over 30 minutes for $9.28, an hour for Thanksgiving traffic to come pick you up if you use and lift. So a lot of drivers are not going to be driving Lyft. Uber, this is what we do on Uber over here. So on Uber, this is what we do. I do reservations on Uber, schedule rides on Uber, and this is what they look like. That was one of them right there from last night. But normally, let me see if they got any in here. Uh, there's none set up right now so far. But I'll show you, like, this is what I do. When you go look at mine, go through here. That was a scheduled one, $20.53. Uh, $20 for almost five miles and that was at 4 50 in the morning because this is how they pay you they give you a fare of 13 but then they give you some reservation fee they gave me about eight dollars out of that reservation fee to match up with that 13 to give me that 20 dollars right there but that's why more people use uber reservations here's another reservation here terminal three right there that was my reservation eight miles i got 27 dollars i got a seven dollar tip so it's about 20 dollars for eight miles Here's another reservation I did here. It was eight miles, $35. I got a $15 tip on that one. So it was $20 for like 18 miles. Let me go some more. You'll see some more reservations. Let's leave those alone, those alone. A dollar tip, who cares about that? All right, here's another dollar tip. Look at that, in a row, dollar, dollar. Who cares about those? I'm trying to find some more reservations for you to show you what Uber reservations look like compared to Lyft reservations. It'll always say Terminal 3. It'll say Terminal something on there. Still going, still going. None of those, none of those. Man, I know I've done airport reservations since then. Here we go. Where are they at? Where are they at? All right, here we go right here. So that's seven and a half miles right there. That was a 11, 11 p.m. So that was normally not the time that I usually do reservations early in the morning. So that ride right there was about $13 for like seven miles. Then they gave me a $5 tip to make it at least $2 a mile for that. So that's what I like, those uh, reservations. Here's another one right here. Okay, 8.4 miles. It was a $9 tip, so it was a $20 reservation for me for eight miles. So every time you get a reservation here, right below that one is another one. 6.7 miles, $27 with an $8 reservation, almost $20 again. So all these reservations I'm doing on Uber are normally about $20. Each one's about, and it's all of them less than seven, eight miles. Some of them are really, really short, like three, four miles or something like that. But I... Uh, it was still more down here. Let's see. They don't got no more in there. No, I don't see no more in here. But that's the problem with Lyft. 
Lyft is not paying enough for reservations. So for all you riders out there who are saying, why ain't nobody picking us up from the airport on Lyft? Lyft doesn't pay for reservations. They don't pay no, They don't give the driver anything. They're charging you guys $35, $40, $50 to get out of the airport. But they're not paying us nothing to actually go pick you up. So nobody wants to go do that. Now it says no rides available. So apparently somebody picked that trash up. I'm not picking that kind of shit up. I wouldn't touch it. Not for that much. Not for no, you know, $9 for seven miles from that. Nah, nah, I, I doubt it. Look at that. Still got a lot of drivers up there. Let's go online and see what's if there's any surge pops up anywhere. Still no surge anywhere. They got an event downtown. They got the game going right now. So after the game, everybody's going to shoot down there and try to go pick people up. Let me hear them turn this off. I don't want them to see me on there. But like I'm saying, if you are a rider, if you're a rider and you're using Lyft or Uber for reservations at the airport, think about it. Because the drivers are not getting paid a lot. You guys got to start talking to drivers ahead of time. Try to find out if there's any private rides out there because a lot of drivers are leaving you guys standing at the airport because we ain't being paid nothing. We fighting through 15, 20 minutes of traffic to get to you. Then we got to fight to get out of there and get all the way to where you got to drop. And we're getting $9 for 30 minutes of work for a busy, busy. And these uh, apps are just raking in the dough. Hand over fist, raking in the dough. Charge you almost $50 for these rides, $40 for these rides, giving the driver, the actual driver doing the work, getting $9. So, you know, as long as these apps are doing that lopsided shit, nobody's driving for them. And I'm just keeping it real with you. It ain't got nothing to do with y'all. It's business. This is 100% business. And if they doing bad business, we're not picking people up. All right. They got 145 miles to go till Lemthy. It's about 9 o'clock. What is it? Tuesday night. So I'm going to go out and drive for a little bit. We got the game going on. It ends at about 10 or 11. Um, like I said, a little less than a half a tank. Let's see what we can do tonight. If I can make at least 100 bucks tonight, I'll be cool. Because like I said, it's pretty slow out. No surge at all. All right, I got Uber running. I already got 20 bucks for my uh, reservation earlier this morning. Let me go on regular Uber, see what they send me. I'm not going to go on Lyft because Lyft without surge is, is no good at all, period. So I don't even turn Lyft on because like I said... It'll, it'll be nothing but a bunch of 50 cent a mile rides and shit like that. $2.63. You'll see a lot of shit like that. So Lyft not surging is not even worth it. When they had Lux running, it would be okay because I can get like a real short Lux trip. You know, it might be two or three miles. Might turn out to be like, you know, $11. But on Lyft, shit, two or three miles, you're getting $2.63 every time. They, they are not playing, man. Lyft is one of the cheapest goddamn slave apps we got now it's like i thought doordash was bad with their little dollar 97 shit two dollars you know uber is worse i mean lyft is worse lyft is, is going downhill fast as shit and i'll prove it let me show you something first ride i bet they send is gonna be like damn near 50 cent a fucking mile they send it's gonna be absolutely worth nothing i'm headed downtown right now what is that a dollar a mile five miles almost six miles for five bucks nope we're cool on that shit I said, that's the kind of shit Liv be sending right there. They send you a bunch of dollar rides and stuff like that. Not really worth your time or nothing. Like I said, if they, they'd they be giving more rides if they actually, you know, left Lux on the platform and, and let people drive, you know, at least make a little money. Because right now, Lyft ain't making no money. I think they're lying just to get investors to invest into them, just like Uber's lying. Because a lot of people are declining a lot of rides, so they can't be making no revenue. And, and Uber is right now selling what bonds, billion dollar bonds right now. Because I know they ass ain't making no money. Tell about some, yeah, you buy a bond with us is payable back in 2028. Yeah, they ain't making no fucking money. That's a five year bond they talking about. And it's like, you really think they're going to give you a billion dollars? Nah, you ain't getting shit. Was that 11 miles? Yeah, going the wrong way. 11 miles for $9. I'm trying to go downtown. So that's not, if they somebody gives me a ride downtown, I'll take it. But like I said, Uber ain't sending shit right now anyways. None of these apps are really sending nothing. But yeah, billion dollar bond, billion dollar payable in five years from now. I mean, that's what? $250 million a year they're claiming they can pay you. $250 million a year for the next four years will get to a billion dollars. They're saying they can come up with that much. I don't think so. I don't think so. Even if it took them the full five, that's $200 million every year. $200 million every year. I'm thinking, you know, if it's payable in five, they're going to try to have it in four because they hate to be that last year, you know, scrounging up money. $250 million extra to just sitting to the side. Just sitting to the side. I don't think they can do it. I don't think they can do it. Just like Lyft walking around talking about some, they made, you know, $102 million more 
this quarter than they made last quarter. I don't think so. I think these apps, they're, they're fudging the numbers, they're lying. Because like I said, they ain't sending out no rides. They ain't sending out no rides, they ain't making no revenue. If we ain't accepting no rides, they ain't making no revenue. So I call bullshit on all that. And yeah, let me go back over to Uber real quick, see what they doing. Oh, it says I'm offline anyways. Let's go back over here, see what Lyft is talking about. Nah, six bucks going the wrong direction. Nope, nope. See what kind of reservations they got coming. $20 for the early morning. Oh no, 7.30 in the morning for 12? Nah, nah, don't think so. We don't do that. Decline that. So now we got Uber running, we got Lyft in the background. We're gonna see who's gonna send me what. Like I said, we've got, yeah, none of these rides are really worth nothing right now. Pretty soon, look at that, man. That's 50 drivers, that's just on Lyft. Just 50 drivers sitting on Lyft right now. They probably on Lyft and on Uber at the same time, which is why you don't see no surge up there. And I guarantee these are people who don't know how to drive. These are all these new drivers getting online. Nope, going in the wrong direction. I'm going towards downtown. That's $4 to go four miles in the opposite direction. So, nah. If they gave me something going towards downtown, I might pick it up. But yeah, but you can't tell me all these people in the airport now have been driving all summer, all year, all last year. Nah, because we've never done it like this, ever. They're purposely doing this shit. They're purposely tanking all of these ARs or purposely like leaving everybody sitting online. So we end up taking our ARs because there's no surge and we're gonna decline every ride out there. With no surge, we're not taking rides. So that's why I know something fishy is going on with these apps. It's like they, they purposely put all of these people online to flush out the American drivers that are used to making so much money you know, per ride or so much money per year. They're trying to flush us out of the system right now. And they're saying, hey, just get online, sit online. I guarantee we'll send you a ride, just sit on. Because there's no reason to be, it's nine o'clock right now. And at nine o'clock, they got 4,600 passengers, then 3,200, 3,200, 2,800, all the way up till midnight. But there's no surge up there. So what's the point? I mean, you're getting 50 cent a mile rides, dollar a mile rides, nature hikes way out to the middle, like 30, 30 miles out. You're getting for like 25, 24 dollars. That's what you're getting because you ain't got no surge. Look at that, 13 miles for nine bucks going in the wrong direction. 13 miles, nine dollars going, instead of going towards downtown, it's going opposite of downtown, heading all the way back to Mesa. So it's like, no, no. Because I want to get downtown, wait to see if some surge hit later on after this game, and then I'll get some good rides out of this. Like I said, Lyft is probably not going to be the one. Look at that, 911 to go 10 miles in the opposite direction. 10 miles opposite direction for $9.11. Nah, we cool on that. Like I said, Lyft is just not that app, man. They're just not that app. When they got rid of Lux, they got rid of a lot of potential of what they could have did. They could have had a lot of drivers staying on their platform, driving for them. Like I said, I did, what, seven rides on Lyft all last week. Seven rides. That's average one ride a day. <laughs> it's like, man, if you averaging one ride a day from all the drivers on your platform, you ain't going to do that fucking well. You're not going to do that well. If you averaging one ride a day, you should be averaging 20, 30 rides a day sometimes. You know, 15 at least. You averaging one ride a day. You 14 rides fucking short from where you should be. And that's per rider. Man, these apps don't know how to do this shit, man. They don't know how to do it. I'm gonna turn Lyft off anyways. They ain't sending me shit. Now let's see, Uber's probably got nothing. We'll see what Uber will eventually send in a second. Probably nothing. Now you can see the airport starting to get a little surge down there. But I'm down here by the game right now downtown. But yeah, they gonna start trying to get people to go to that airport. They got all these flights landing and they wanna capitalize on that money right now. We ain't going to play in the suckers of this shit. If they ain't paying us, we not going down there. That's just how it goes. We know these people are paying really well for these rides. Paying really well for these rides. So for us not to get a, a substantive part of it, like we're not getting anything worth having, yeah, we not messing with these rides. We just not even touching them. They want to sit there and treat us like, you know, these cars don't mean nothing. Keeping them clean don't mean nothing. The maintenance don't mean nothing. They want to treat us like that? Yeah, we're not moving these cars for these apps. If we got, you know... Private clients might hit us up on text message or something like that. If you don't got private clients, get you some cards made up. Start working on that aspect of it. Because once people can't find a ride somewhere, they're going to start hitting you up. When they start getting declined all the time, when they get tired of the certain people that's picking them up, and like, you know what, we getting some, some whack, you know, Uber drivers, some real whack Lyft drivers. We might just want to call somebody straight up. Look at that. 
almost 20 miles for a and that's from the game. 20 miles for like $12. And that's from the game right behind me. So they want me to go all the way up the highway, 20 miles up the highway, then have to come back because I live down this way. So that's basically 40 miles I'm driving for $12. Like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm not going way up there for that, no. Look at that, 843 for damn near 10 miles right there. 843 for almost 10 miles. Nope, we're not doing that. It's like, nah, we're cool on that. I'm gonna park right here and chill for a second. Yeah, wait to see what kind of rides come down the pipe. But so far, that's what they're doing right now. They just, you know, sending out a bunch of trap crap right now. $10 for 20 trips. I don't know where that even comes from right there. Oh, it's until Friday. Oh, man, look at that. You got to be kidding me. It's 50 cents a trip. <laughs> 973 for like 11 miles. Nah, we're cool. And these are all people leaving the game right now. Adams and First is right behind me. These are all people leaving the game. But that's crazy, though. They paying 50 cents a trip, I think. Look at that. 20 trips for 10 bucks. Then 10 for 5 bucks. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to do no shit like that. I'm cool on that. Look at that. Six for six miles. That's going down to the airport. I'm not going for six dollars to go to the airport and all that crazy ass traffic. Six bucks. And that person probably paid about thirty dollars for that ride. <laughs> it's like, no. Look at that. Twelve miles for ten dollars. Nope. Let's turn this off real quick. They're not sending nothing right now. I'm just turning it off. Listen to me some music for a while. I'll turn it back on and see if they surge in later. Alright, let's see what we got going on. What is it? 9.30. I'm still sitting in the same spot chilling right now. There's a lot of cars passing me by. Let's go see if somebody's got a good reservation. At least $20. At least $20. Uh, what was that? 9.38 for like 11 miles? Nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this at 6.25 in the morning from Tempe to the airport. Let's take that for 20 bucks. No, I declined it. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for me. 625, my cutoff is at 5. Nope. I'm not doing nothing past those points no more. Was it $18 to go all the way north? Nah. Man, that's like 24 miles up for $18. Nope. And that's leaving the game right where I'm at. Yeah, I'm not doing no more reservations past 5 a.m. Because once they start doing that 6 a.m., 7 a.m. shit, yeah. That's when that morning traffic hit. I ain't, I'm not messing with that. I'm done with that. It's like, we're not doing that no more. They need to start keeping these appointments around about three, you know, four o'clock like they normally used to do. They trying to get me to be a day driver. That's why they keep pushing that shit 6.30, 7.30, 8 o'clock. I'm like, nope, nope. I got to start declining them. When you start accepting them, they're going to keep sending them to you. I was accepting them for a while, but I'm noticing they keep getting later and later. They'll be like 4.45, 5.15, 5.30, 6.30, 7 o'clock. I'm like, see, once you start accepting them, Start kicking them out. They'll start sending them to somebody else. I don't want appointments at that time in the morning. It's like, I'm, I'm done at 4, 430. So I can get my ass off the street before all these morning day drivers start coming. Look, almost 10 miles for like $8. Mm, nah, we're cool on that. Yeah, and like I said, it's, we should be getting some surge right now. We should be because we're right downtown. But since we ain't getting no surge, I'm back offline again. Okay, now I'm over here on the Lyft side. Lyft's got surge going right now, so let me turn Lyft on real quick. Let me go over and turn Uber on while I'm at it, too. Let's see what each app has going. I don't think Uber has any surge. All right, let's see what they're talking about over here. $17 for like 19 miles almost? Nope. That's 18 miles. No, I'm cool on that shit. I'm not going that far away. And they're all being picked up at the game right now. 375 bonus right now. What was that? About almost seven miles for ten dollars? Nope. I'm trying to do two dollars a mile at least minimum. And I would like something like, you know, four or five miles. That's it. Nineteen dollars, fifteen miles? Nope. None of these trips are worth it right now. They don't these are all nature hikes. They're trying to get all the nature hikes out the way so they can make the profits and get people out of the area. Look at that. That's thirty-three miles for twenty-four dollars. Way out. Now. Nah. They're doing all they can to get all the nature hikes out the way to see what idiots they can do to flush them out of the area. Everything's going to be far at first. I'm looking for short rides. That's it. Uh, Washington in a second, $7 for 2.3 miles. Oh, uh, Washington in a second. No, I'm not doing that either. Anything that's away from Washington. I just don't want to go in Washington. If it's north a little bit, cool. Anything south, I'm not messing with. $15 for 18 miles? Nope. 
Because down on Washington, you can't get through. I'm not trying to go back to Washington or Jefferson. Anything on Washington and Jefferson? No. See, like that. Washington first, I can't do it. It's $11 anyway for like nine miles. Anything behind me, I'm not touching. It's just, it's not worth it to me. I'm looking for something that's ahead of me. Lincoln in second. Nope. $20 for like 24 miles? Nope. Nope. Not even. Doubt it. <laughs> $15 for over 15 miles? Doubt it. These are off in the footprint center right now. All right, let's just turn this off real quick. We're going to turn uh, Lyft off because they're not really sending nothing right now. Let's go see what Uber's got. See if they got some surge going. Let's open up Uber, see what they got as far as surge goes. Mm, probably not. Nothing. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Come on. Give me some. Give me some. Nope. Sixteen dollars for about twenty-one miles. Mm, nah. And there's no surge on Uber yet. There's no surge on Uber yet, so let's turn Uber off real quick. If it ain't no surge, I'm not worried about it. Let me see some. All right, let's go back online here. See what we got on Lyft. What do we got on Grift? That's my man Drew down in Austin be saying that shit. Grift. Fourteen dollars for about almost fourteen miles. Nah, we're cool on that shit. Give me something short and don't let it be on Washington. That's all I got to say. Now, if it's like $9 from Washington, maybe. Damn, wait, that's the same one I was just here a second ago. $24 is like almost 33 miles. They're really trying to get all the nature hikes out the way now. And it's like, nah, we ain't, we ain't messing with those. We're not touching those. They got to use an Uber Black or something that's really paying good money. But... Nope, they already tried that one too. Look at that. Six miles, nine dollars. Nope. And ain't nobody tipping, so I really don't feel bad declining these rides. Like I said, this shit's all business. This ain't nothing personal. If people tip more and I know people are tired of tipping, that's cool. We drive we're tired of driving for broke motherfuckers. Like, I don't care if you don't tip. Shit. I don't take shitty rides anyways. The money's gotta be there. If the apps ain't paying, I'm not driving. So where are we at? North first and Van Buren, four miles for eight dollars. Mm, nah, we ain't doing that one. Yeah, I don't care if people don't don't tip or not. It's, if you tip, that's great. I love it. I appreciate that shit. But my car don't move unless the money's there. Nah, I'm not going over to Washington 44. That's over by the airport anyways. For $11, nah, we cool. And you got to go down to the footprint center and pick them up anyways? Nah, we cool on that shit. We cool on that shit. Damn, $19 for almost 22 miles way out to the west. Jeez, that's crazy. We getting a lot of people walking up by this way right now. A lot of people walking. So everybody's done left the game already. $10 for about three miles. I'll take that one because I'm going north. Let's go. So this is about four miles right here. So I'm going to go north, pick these people up. I'm not going towards the back towards the stadium. That's one thing. So this is the kind of trip I'm waiting on right now. I can go north, pick up somebody. Then I go a little bit north hopefully get a ride back down here if i don't i don't have to come back to this area i'll just keep getting the surge in this area but i don't got to go back by the footprint center and be stuck in traffic that's the last thing i'm trying to do is be stuck in all that crazy ass traffic so let's do this quick ride real quick hopefully we get better rides yeah i just dropped them off they had a car seat so i had to help her get the car seat out it's pretty easy easy quick little trip right there i had it on last ride so let me go back in real quick See what kind of surge I got. Uh, don't know where I am. $3, not bad. Let's see if I can get me another little quick short trip. That way, I'll head back south again. See, $13 for that? No, $13 for like 14 miles with the bonus? Nah, I'm good on that. You know better than that, Left, You know better. There we go. What else do we got going on? $17 for about 19 miles. Nah, we don't want to do that, Liv. No, we don't want to do that. Like I said, at least I'm not back down by the um, the stadium area. So I'm in a good area to get some surge and everything. All I need is a couple of short trips, you know, four miles, five miles. You know, that's what, six miles for $9? Mm, no, nah, because I'm going down there and I'm having to come all the way back. We're not going to do that. That's six miles for nine bucks. I don't want that. I mean, I'll take six for 12, but, you know, for nine, no, nah, I'm cool on that. I'll take that one though. It's like a half mile. That's like a mile total for about five dollars. Let's go do that. All right, let's go down to Safeway, pick up somebody doing some groceries. Might as well. 
or it could be somebody getting off work one or the other one who knows we'll find out when we get down there hopefully it's just somebody getting off work that way i ain't gotta load my car up but we'll find out real quick trip i'm out of the surge zone so i gotta drop south a little bit but that customer oh she was pretty cool she was pretty cool her and her boyfriend they were just getting a ride home from the grocery store just had like a little bag but they got a kia rio sitting in the driveway they paid a mechanic to fix it and now it won't run and everything like that they think they got you know she says she just got water in the in the pistons or whatever in the cylinder so i'm like well that means it's head gasket but i'll know once we get the car started battery's dead right now so I gave him my card, said one of these days we'll have to, you know, I have to come over, we'll jump start it, run it, I'll go through some diagnostics on it. But hey, that's that's a car repair client right there. So she's like, oh yeah, yeah, we used to pay, my dad used to do it, then we paid this other mechanic, you know, he can't figure it out. So, you know, it might be another mechanic, you know, another mechanic client for me where I can get money, get my little mechanic business going back up on the side if these apps ain't acting right again, you know what I'm saying? I can help people get their cars back on the road. So I gave him my card, told him you know shoot me a text or whatever over the next week or two we'll we'll set a date when i can come up they can just pay for a diagnostic i'll just go through the car or whatever hopefully figure it out get it back up and running for them so i don't got to use ride share no more that's what i'm good for you know what i'm saying and the dude was like man you know what off topic you seem kind of cool man <laughs> i was like bro i'm just an old school mechanic man that's all i am i said like, i love driving my car i love getting down but i'm just an old school guy man so I love meeting good people like that. And we sit down, we chop it up about issues they may be having with like life, cars, whatever. And hopefully, like I said, if, if they let me know it's right. And then they got a Toyota van in the driveway. They got in there, she said the transmission is out in the van. And you know me, I love blown transmissions. If you tell me a transmission is blown, oh, I'll pull that motherfucker out and fix it. I love broken transmissions. So it's a little, it's a Toyota van, whatever kind of van Toyotas makes. I don't know, it, but it's like an old school van, probably like a 2011 or something. But shit, I'd be like, if I got to fix your car, you ain't got no money, let me have that van. That'll be good payment right there. Give me that van with the busted transmission. I'll have that motherfucker towed to my house. Shit, I'll have that motherfucker run and use that shit for Uber XL. <laughs> She's all, oh, yeah, that van doesn't run. It's, it's The transmission's blown. It's a piece of shit. The transmission's blown. Hey, get that motherfucker to me for payment. I'll fix your car if you give me that van for free. I'll tow that motherfucker to my house. How about that? I know they'll probably be like, for real? Shit, I even bought the parts for your car to fix it. I'll buy the parts and fix your fucking car if you let me have that van. How about that? That's a good trade-off. Then I ain't got to go out and buy no Uber XL car. There you go. So hopefully they give me a text and we could probably work out a deal and I'll take the broken down van off their hands. We'll see. All right, so now I'm back downtown. Let me turn this on real quick. Yeah, I'm going to hit this little side street. Now I'm on row right here. They probably going to send me a couple of things about a footprint center right off the fucking bat because you know people are waiting for the surge to die down. So they probably say, hey, hey, go to the footprint center, pick this person up. I'm like, shit. $13 for 16 miles. Doubt it. Shit. Not doing that for sure. For sure. It's only 10 o'clock at night. I got 15 bucks. Shit. That's a couple of crusty dusties in the tank for you right there. Not making a whole lot of money, but it's okay. I'll figure some shit out. Like I said, hopefully if I can if I can get mechanic work done and all that. $13 for about 12 miles. No, nah, we cool on that shit. So I got to figure something out as far as ride sharing money goes because I may have to get my mechanic shit back up and running and maybe even fix cars, you know, fix them, buy them at auctions and sell them to people who want to do ride share for like real cheap. I don't have to make a lot of money. I just got to make sure I turn a profit. I don't have to get rich off of this shit. So if I buy a car for, you know, eight, nine hundred bucks, put a couple of hundred dollars into it, I can sell that shit to somebody for like two G's. They can go out and dry that motherfucking to the ground. <laughs> it's like, dude, I bought that car for Jeff for two thousand dollars. Shit, I made like thirty grand with that little fucking car. So everybody wins, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wins. You, there's no telling what I might do, man. Like I said, I ain't got to get rich off the shit. I just got to make sure, you know, I make decent enough profits to survive. I ain't got to, you know, rob no. I ain't got to fucking gouge no fucking body. Be like, man, this motherfucker selling us busted down cars with way too much. No, I, and you know me. If I fix a fucking car, I ain't going to see that motherfucker again. I love fixing shit because I fix it to last. It ain't coming back. Once I fix it, it's done. Go out here and buy some little vans and shit like that. Rebuild the transmissions in them. Make sure the engines are solid. Start selling them for people to drive XL with. Shit, don't think I will. Motherfucker, you don't know me. <laughs> shit, I'll be out here making this shit happen. Like everybody be like, dude. You ain't even got to rent a car no more. Just buy one of Jeff's cars. Fuck paying $2,000 a month in rent. You get $2,000 to Jeff. You could buy that whole fucking car off of him. Shit. 
He bought the motherfucker for 500 and rebuilt the transmission. It's $1,500 for him. Profit right there. $1,500 profit. Of him. And you use that fucking van, make about 30, 40 grand with that motherfucker. Call it a day. And that's how we do business. You know what I'm saying? We help each other out. That's all we do. Just keep helping each other out. But right now, they pulled that surge away. So you know it ain't shit jumping. Now, as soon as I open up Uber, watch what happened when I open Uber. They're going to start sending me lift rides like a motherfucker. 20 bucks. Let's go in real quick. Yep, they're going to start sending me some lift rides in a minute. Because they say, damn, he's open on Uber. Yep, yep. Oh, no internet connection right here. Let's do it like this real quick. Let's go. One, two, three. Fourteen dollars for like nineteen miles. Nah, we cool on that shit. We ain't going that way anyways. Damn man. Oh, there we go. Now we back in the mix. Let's go. We in the mix now. Yeah, that was fourteen dollars for like 18, 19 miles. I wasn't trying to do that shit anyways. It's like nope, nope. They send me some better trips. I don't know. Uber might win, man. Uber might give me get me to drive for the night. But right now, they ain't did shit. I made twenty bucks on those motherfuckers early this morning. That was it. I'm online. Be among the first to try to make this new way to make money. What is that? Fucking go out and pick some cotton. Motherfucker, I ain't no slave. <laughs> it's like, go pick this. You could be Uber cotton picker. Fuck that shit, motherfucker. Y'all need to stop trying to fucking exploit people all the goddamn time. Let's see what they talking about. Make it to be 345 in the morning. I'll take it. 615. Can't do it, man. I know 615. They trying to make me a day driver. Let's do that. All right, let's do that. It's about two miles for 626. I'll do that right there. Let's cruise up here, pick a motherfucker up real quick. All right, bet, bet. All right, let me go up some. Where did they got me going? This fucking, yeah, I'm not turning that corner. I'm going straight through. Let me hurry up, put it on last ride before they try to do some crazy shit. Uh, now I'm on last ride. Cool, cool. All right, let me keep cruising right through him. I just got to go up and pick her up up this way. All right, bet. Like I said, quick six bucks. That's all right. Let me go back in Uber. I was about to go back in here real quick and fucking get rid of them anyways. Let's shut this shit down real quick. Yeah, get off of Uber before Uber starts sending some bullshit. All right. And like I said, I got it on last ride, so they can't change the destination or anything. Because if you don't put that shit on last ride, motherfuckers be real quick to be like, hey... Here you go, I'm gonna add a new stop. No, you not, not on my shit, you not. That was a real quick trip. That was just right around the corner. Like I said, all my trips have been real short. Like that one was just, you know, it wasn't even a mile. Yeah, almost two miles for 148. I mean, for 628. 1.49 miles, 628. The one before that one was, what, one and a half miles for five bucks. And the one before that one was, <laughs> what is it? There's almost five miles for 10 bucks. So everything's running about $2 a mile, basically. So everything's running about two bucks a mile. So like I said, if I want to make, you know, $100,000, if I'm at $2 a mile, I just have to drive 50,000 miles over 12 months. So, you know, it's not that hard to, once you start budgeting for $2 a mile, $2 a mile, it's got to make sure you stick with that and don't drop it to the 50 cent a mile, dollar a mile category. You can make a lot of money, but like I said, it's going to take you a while. It's going to take you a while. Let me see what's my actual online time. 35 minutes, $21 in 35 minutes. So it's basically about $40 an hour is what I'm running right now. About 40 bucks an hour. But like I said, I'm going to leave this shit online running. Come on, car. This motherfucker put his blinker on at the last minute. I could have went. I could have went. You raggedy bastard. And all these cars are staggered. Like, that one went. Now that one's going. Now here comes another one going. It's like, why don't all you slow motherfuckers just band together? It's why all slow cars got to stagger. Like, band together, man. God damn. I hate driving around motherfuckers that can't drive. Yeah, but I'm running about 40 bucks an hour right now, which ain't too bad. You know, it, it's just no rides out tonight. There's no rides out. There's nothing as far as surge goes over here. We got some surge way over here in Scottsdale. People are up there partying and shit for Thanksgiving and all that. I just don't do Scottsdale traffic. They need to get the all that construction and all those cones and shit and all those tapes and, you know, dead ends that got big ass screens and gates around them. They got to do something with that because I don't like driving and all that. It's, it's just too much for me. So let me go over here to Uber real quick, see what Uber's got going. 
so they got some surge down here i might jump on them for a while but if it ain't nothing going yeah we might have to call it good might have to call it good yeah they have no surge going yep one of those nights man one of those nights like i said this is thanksgiving week we know the money's gonna be out there if this is before four o'clock i might take it eight o'clock in the morning definitely not hell no so they trying to make me a day driver man i don't do that shit don't be trying to throw everything i want before four o'clock look at that um seven dollars for about six miles nope not doing it these are the people that stay and they straggle till after the game so they can get the cheaper rides now, Uber probably charged them maybe $19, $20 for that ride, but they're going to give me $7. It's like, if you if you cannot afford these Uber rides, you cannot afford these Lyft rides, you need to get the phone number of drivers when you're driving with these drivers. Stop using these apps if you can't afford these apps. Because as drivers, we can't afford to drive on these apps. So if we can't afford to drive on these apps, you can't afford to pay these apps, we need to meet each other in the middle between rider and driver. Fuck these apps. Because they're pricing everybody out of the economy. You can't afford them. We can't afford to work for them. And here we are staring at each other in the fucking face. Like, put your phone down. Holla at me. Talk to me. What's up? You need a ride? Shit, let's do this. These motherfuckers got these phones in their hand like they're scared to talk to people. Learn how to socialize with a motherfucker. You know I'm an Uber driver. I wear a Lyft shirt. I got an Uber shirt on. Hey, man, you drive? Yeah, we just need to ride like two miles down the street. What are you talking about? I don't know, man. Ten bucks? Cool, cool, because they're trying to charge us 30 it's like, if you're just going two miles down the fucking street, give me 10 bucks, fuck it. Motherfucker might fuck around and give you 15 just because they happy. But yet, you got these motherfuckers sitting there, they think these apps are the key to success. If your, if your point of success is you leaving one place and getting home, the key to success is not these apps. The key to success is a fucking driver willing to take you home. That's your key to success. The apps are nothing but a ride hailing program. That's it. They're ride hailing technology. They find a driver for you. If you're looking at a driver in the fucking face, you don't need the app to find a driver for you. You're looking at a driver in the fucking face. Look at that, 17 miles to $13. Fuck no. These are people who waited. They waited. And it's like, if they would have had a driver phone number, they ass would have been home by now. Because if they only got to go 20 miles, I'd have probably charged them like, I don't know, $25. That's it. They got to go 16 miles, $25, $30. Let's call it good. App is probably charging their ass, you know, 40 something dollars just to get home. Because surge price would have probably charged them like 60 or 70 leaving it leaving an NBA game. $70 to leave an NBA game. They're gonna pay somebody $30, $40 and been home already. But these motherfuckers, they they scared to talk to people. You gotta be straight up, like, hey man, I know you're a driver. You gave me your card one day. You still out driving? Yeah, I'm still out driving. I'm actually downtown right now. Oh shit, we downtown. $30 cool, where you gotta go? Oh, just to the house, man. It's only like shit, six, seven miles down the road. App's trying to charge me $42, man, $45. Shit. Like I said, motherfuckers got to learn how to talk to each other, man. Be human again. Quit using these fucking apps like y'all some androids and shit. Be human. Talk to a motherfucker. If you need a ride, say, hey, man, I know your Uber drive. You got an Uber light in your car. Can we get a ride? Shit, where you trying to go? Motherfucker, talk right there on the spot. These apps are nothing but ride-hailing programs. They're interfaces. That's all they are is an interface. If you don't need the interface, then just get a fucking ride. That's it. Just get a ride. What are you so scared to talk to somebody for? Just get a ride. It's that easy. What these motherfucking ragged ass apps got. Because I went through and looked at some um some reservations. So I got one at 4 o'clock in the morning. 6 miles for 20 bucks. And it's right downtown. And it's just going to the airport. Which is cool because I'll be down here anyways. Then at 6 a.m. there's one right next to my house. 5 miles to the airport. I couldn't say no to that. I mean it's right next to my house. So I'll probably have to drive like a mile and a half. 2 miles to get there. Pick them up. Take them to the airport five. So it's like basically seven dollars for like, you know, I mean seven miles for like twenty dollars. So I did that. They tried to send me one at eight o'clock and I didn't do it. They keep trying to make me a, a day driver and I'm not falling for that shit. I'm just not doing it. They keep trying to set my reservations further and further and further into the morning. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. So you know, that's that's those are 20 bucks. Plus I got this 20 from the reservation yesterday. So don't, you know, 60 bucks for like three reservations in a couple of days. Not too bad, but I I wish I was sitting on four or five hundred dollars. Look at that shit. A reservation right there. All the way to fucking 20 miles out? No. North 14th Ave and West Wickiep? No. $20 for like 22 miles. Shit. And that's a reservation. Yeah, no, nah, that, that shit ain't happening. Like I said, they these are the shit that they try to do, people, when you don't quite know how to drive these apps. When you know how to drive these apps, trust me, you'll start realizing dollar per mile, dollar per minute. And especially, like I said, when you're doing per minute on a highway, 
you're going a very long distance on the highway. When you do per minute on the streets, you got a lot of stoplights, stop signs, traffic. So per minute on the street is not that far. If I go 20 minutes through city traffic, I'm not really driving that far because I got to go through stoplights, traffic, and all that. 20 minutes on the highway, you're going about 65 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour. You're going to end up way down the highway in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, at, at 65 miles an hour, in 20 minutes, you can end up about 20 miles down the highway. So you're going to be like, holy shit, I done drove 20 miles down the highway for 20 bucks in 20 minutes when I could have got that $20 sitting on the city street for going like seven, eight miles. That's why I'm like, nope, do it. Do city streets, man. City streets, you eat less gas. And I know people say, well, mileage on the highways is, is a lot less. It is, but it's taking you away from the zones where the money's at a lot of times. So you get caught up going on a highway, 20 miles down the highway. You'd be like, damn, now you got to come 20 miles back. You just went 40 miles round trip for like 20 bucks. That's 50 cent a mile. That's the shit we be talking about. 50 cent a mile trips. So you had to come 20 miles all the way back just to be back into that surge money again. It ain't worth it sometimes. If you're going 20 miles down the highway, it better be to another surge in area, like to an event, a concert or something like that down the highway. If it ain't nothing down there, you're going to be stuck. You ain't doing shit. Like I said, right now I'm downtown. They ain't got nothing really jumping down here. So like I said, my appointment ain't until like four o'clock in the morning. I got $21 on these raggedy motherfuckers right here. So it's like, what if they, and I'm in surge right now. So let's see what they're going to do as far as surge goes. $4. Okay. Four bucks. Give me something short. Yeesh. Nope. Almost $16 for about 20 miles. Almost. No, I'm cool on that shit. Give me something better than that. What do we got? Give me something short right around the corner, you know, three, four miles. 14 for about 13 miles. Nope. Just rather go around the corner. That's it. I just, I'm trying to do something short over here. I'm not trying to do nothing long. Look at that. 22 miles for $18. That ride was there earlier. I remember seeing that ride earlier and in, in when I was first starting. These people still ain't got home because ain't nobody going out there. $10 for eight miles. No, nah, we cool. Like I said, and I got a $4 bonus right now, so that was really six miles for real. It was like, look at that, $13 for about 12 miles? Nope, not quite. If Lyft ain't paying, like I said, riders, if Lyft ain't paying, you guys got to have people in your phone. 20 miles for $17? Nope. You got to have driver's numbers in your phone. All these people could get home because they could pay a driver straight up and get home. These apps ain't paying drivers right, so y'all motherfuckers ain't getting no rides home. That was it. What was that 11 miles for $13? No, nah, too far south for me. That's way down on the vein. I'm not going way down there. Because then you get down there, it ain't shit down there. Like I said, you guys, you could be getting rides home. Everybody could be getting rides home. But at the price that these rides are going for, no, nah, $3 for like almost 11, 12 miles. No, nah, we cool. Like I said, now I'm, I went from $4 bonus down to $3 bonus. It don't matter. If you ain't paying me, it don't matter what the fucking bonus is. That's like 15 miles of $14. Like I said, I don't give a fuck what the bonus is. If you're not paying me the right amount of money, I'm not driving. You can have a $0 bonus and give me a good fucking ride. I'll take it. You can have a nice ass bonus. Give me a shitty ride. Look at that. Almost 14 miles of $12. Like, no. That's way down the highway one way to come all the way down the highway the other way. Shit, doubt it. Like, these motherfuckers is crazy. And these people could all be getting home right now had they not used these apps. We'll see what these raggedy motherfuckers talking about on this side. $4 for like three miles? Nah, we cool on that shit. Let's see, what we talking about? $12 for about 12 miles? Nah, we cool on that shit too. These people could all be getting home. They could be getting home. But like I said, when you use the app like, like Uber and Lyft, you wonder why you ain't getting home. $14 for almost 20 miles. Nope. Nope. You can't get home with that. Y'all can't get home with that. You guys got to find a different way. And I would accept these rides and then give the rider a, a transaction. Be like, hey, listen, we can help you out if you do this, this, or this. But no, fuck that. No. Look at that. $22 for like 28 miles. No, going way down and get, no, not for no $22. Nope. Look at that. $3 for some Filibertos. 11 miles. This is a delivery. $3 delivery, 11 miles, 26 minutes. You're making basically... Six dollars an hour. You're making six dollars an hour driving 22 miles. That's what you if you did this twice, you'd be driving 22 miles to make six dollars. That's no tip. No man, fuck that shit's crazy. Six dollars for six miles. Nope. 
Like I said, all these people need to be on YouTube, getting on these driver channels, getting on these ride share channels and be a driver and say, hey, you know what? I'm actually a rider. How can I contact somebody in this city for a ride? Guarantee you're going to get like 10 motherfucking drivers up on your comment. Hey, man, hit, hit me up. This is my number. Hey, man, hit me up. This is my. And now you got five fucking driver numbers in your phone. If this driver can't get you, that driver can. If both of these drivers can't get you, now your third driver can. Get these drivers phone numbers, man. Get on these YouTube channels, riders. Get on these motherfuckers and start talking to, hey, man, how can I get a ride? I'm tired of going through the app and not getting a ride. What city you in? Nashville. Four Nashville drivers. Hey, take down our information. This, hey, how can I get in touch with you? Take down my information. Guarantee you now have four drivers in your phone. You, your buddies, your family, everybody else ain't going to be stranded. You got four drivers numbers now. Direct, straight up. Same thing about people in Phoenix. If you're a rider in Phoenix, hit me up. Because if I can't get you, my man Dave will. Dave can't get you. Devin will. Devin can't. Juan Vargas will. King James will. Fucking Frank will. Big Kev will. Somebody's going to get you. We got enough drivers out here. Somebody's going to come get you. But when you riders keep your mouth closed, you end up having to pay these apps $60, $70, $80 for a trip that only probably costs $30. So you're like, damn, man, why am I paying $60, $70? Yeah, exactly. Look at that. $21 go all the way to Chandler. $21 to go like 27 miles. See, that driver could get home. He could probably slide me 40, 50 bucks and I'd take him home. 40, 50 dollars, I'd take him to the house, man. 40, 50 dollars. Go for 21 miles? Shit. Look at that. Eight dollars for four miles? I could do that. It's two dollars a mile. Let's do that then. Shit. Whoops. Yeah, so I could do this little quick trip right here. Because like I said, I'm not doing no motherfucking nature hikes. Let me go inside a uber and turn uber off because i ain't doing shit anyways yeah but i'll sit and do two dollars a mile all fucking day i could do two dollars three dollars a mile do that shit all fucking day but what i'm not gonna do is sit up and let these motherfuckers play me out have me driving 21 27 miles down the highway for 21 dollars it's like that ain't even a dollar a mile and the tips ain't guaranteed so i'm not gonna pretend at all they're gonna tip me when i get down there no they shouldn't have to tip me as much as these people are fucking paying they shouldn't have to tip me a dime all the money should come straight out of that fare they fucking paid. That big ass egregious fucking fare they just paid. Some of that shit should be coming to my pocket so these people ain't gotta tip me. And that was a pretty quick trip right there. So now what I wanna do is like, you see that four dollars sitting up there? If they'll send me a ride to go up that way, I'll take that ride. But I'm not driving up there on my own fuel. I'm not doing that. They're gonna have to give me a ride to go up there. So let me see if they gonna shoot me up there real quick. If they can get me to go up to that area, I might do it. I might not to that area. Look at that, man. It's like 14 miles for 10 bucks going south. No, nah, we cool on that. We cool on that. All right, so I had to get out of that parking lot. Oh, $3, three miles. No, we not doing that. You guys ain't, ain't giving me no surge. You know, let me turn this shit off real quick. They ain't giving me no surge where I'm at, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm probably going to drop south a little bit. Go sit at a gas station, probably eat me a motherfucking crusty, dusty, because I ain't eat dinner tonight, so I need something in my system. So, yeah, I'm going to probably get offline, play me some music for a while, let them put Surge where I'm at. All right, I'm going to try to use this $2 Surge to find something good. Maybe like a three, four mile trip, probably. Three, four miles for about $8. See if we can do that again. Because otherwise, yeah, we ain't gonna be messing with these trips. Because like I said, ain't nobody tipping anyways, or the apps are just keeping the tips. Whatever the case may be, I don't drive for fucking nothing. And that's why a lot of people get declined all the time because these apps are fucking with people's money. So, riders, apologize for that shit. Like I said, you motherfuckers need to talk to the driver straight up. Be like, hey man, I'm gonna tip you $5 in your car as I sit here so to make sure you get it. And if you do tip, cool. If you don't, then don't say you're going to tip. Just don't be that type of a fucking person. Just like, you know what? Appreciate the ride. That's it. I gave all my money to the app, dude. I would give you more, but I already gave all my money to the app. Cool. Be run hunted with it. Because a lot of us don't pick up these trips unless they fucking paying well. We will not pick them up. Look at that. Nine for... No, no. Fuck that. Yeah, a lot of these trips we don't take. You know what I'm saying? If, they, if they're still like trying to send me too far on a trip, I'm just not doing that shit. Just not doing it. 
So, and they done, they done took the surge zone away, so I'm not in the surge zone right now. But you motherfuckers know me. Shit, Harriet Tubman on these motherfuckers real quick. <laughs> it's like shit. Once you give me a surge, motherfucker, that's mine. Trust me. Harriet Tubman on your motherfucking ass. You know, and everybody out there, you know, we, we do what we do to keep this fucking money on our phone. They be trying to fuck us. Trying to give us fucking surges and hurry up and try to give us a motherfucking nature hike. We just start laughing like a motherfucker. Like, y'all don't know about Harriet Tubman? Shit, you about to learn today. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't even know. Shit, we out here collecting. Look at that, $21. Almost 30 miles. Shit. I said, I'm going to park right here, kick back and relax for a second. $2, two minutes away? Shit, yeah, take that shit away. I'm not doing no $2 fucking ride. Not right now. Nope, nope. I don't know if people say, well, you got a bonus, man, it'll apply. Man, I ain't trying to do that shit. I'm not trying to do that. They know better. They know better. They give me something worth it, you know what I'm saying? Give me, you know, a $2 a mile trip, a $3 mile trip. Give me something worth my time. Because like I said, ain't nobody tipping, so hey, we ain't doing shit. And these motherfuckers, they want, people want to sit around, well, just do the ride and hopefully you get a tip. You know what? Hopefully they get a fucking ride. That's the way I look at the equation. I don't, I don't have hope for myself as a driver. I know what the fuck I'm getting. I hope these motherfuckers get a ride because these apps is out here playing the shit out of people, overcharging their ass for rides. We're the ones doing the rides. They overcharging these people for the rides. Folks need to just be real. Keep it straight up with the driver. So I, like it ain't, they, I hope I get a tip day. Just hope they tip you, Jeff. Hope they tip you. No, fuck that. I hope they get a ride. I don't know what to fucking tell you. I hope a motherfucker deliver their hamburger. I don't know what to fucking tell you, but it ain't no hope for me. I hope for them. Fuck that shit. I control this car and where this car goes. What could, if, if it's a taco, enter this motherfucker. I control the taco coming into my fucking car. It ain't no hope involved. If the money ain't there, shit, I hope they del get that motherfucker delivered. If, if the money ain't there, I hope they get a fucking ride home. Don't try to hope. Well, just hope that they tip you, Jeff. Man, fuck that. I don't operate on that end of the spectrum. I know what the fuck I'm doing out here. And these apps need to know what we're doing as drivers. If you're not paying these drivers, we ain't touching shit. We ain't moving these fucking cars. How we've been talking about how people will let somebody else use their account or sell their accounts. Here's a story right now where detectives sent a subpoena to DoorDash requesting delivery records to identify a suspect that stole a package off of somebody's porch. But so the records from DoorDash said it was the woman dropping the food off. But the lady said, you know, she was at work. So it must have been her boyfriend, Nate, that delivered the fucking food. So she said she drives an SUV like on the app and everything. But her boyfriend drives a pickup truck. So when they look at the doorbell camera, they see the dude dropping it off in the pickup truck using her fucking account and everything. Ain't that some funny shit? So yeah, so they show him dropping the food off using her account while she's at work. Tell me these motherfuckers ain't been doing this shit for a long time. Everybody's doing this shit. So they can't just sit up there and say it's just, you know, immigrants doing it. We know immigrants are doing the same thing using other people's accounts. We know that. So what we have to do is, is let people know, hey, if you out using somebody else's account, if this is the shit you up to, your ass will get busted. Everybody got doorbell cameras now. Don't try to be slick about that shit. Like I said, these, these motherfuckers subpoena DoorDash. This is what happened right here. This motherfucker right here. <laughs> Delivery driver accused. This look like old dirty bastard. <laughs> motherfucker ODB is alive. Motherfucker old dirty bastard still alive. This motherfucker was straight up. He dropped off some DoorDash food using his girlfriend account. Then turned around and stole a fucking package off the porch. And he took a picture. This this was so funny. The, the dumb motherfucker did this shit. He put the food on the ground. Took a picture of it while it was while the package was in the picture too. And then he picked the fucking package up and took off running back to his damn pickup truck. This is how dumb these motherfuckers are. Using this, that's why it's like you sitting there using your girlfriend account, stealing shit under your girlfriend's account. So now DoorDash is gonna kick her off the motherfucking app. Probably ban her ass from ever using the app again. His ass is going to jail. Right now he out on bail or some shit right now. I'm like, man, these motherfuckers using these apps is fucking straight stupid. Motherfucker can see him wearing the same fucking clothes in the security camera running and shit with the fucking package. But he's saying he admitted he picked up the order, but he denied any theft. Motherfucker, you on camera. Look at this motherfucker, old dirty bastard. I'm going to start using this motherfucker in some of my videos. That's an old dirty bastard right there. <laughs> and so here we are. 
$3 fucking bonus. What the fuck? Let's see if we can make this shit happen. Let's see if we can make it happen. I had $2 for a while. Not Like I said, a surge in downtown Phoenix. They trying to get motherfuckers to pick up people who still straggling. They got a bunch of people that after the game, they still straggling, trying to get home and shit. So, and, and this is what happens. They try to get a better price. So they wait out the big surge. And even though Lyft and Uber ain't paying no good surges and shit during the games and all that, they not paying a good surge. So people are waiting, waiting, waiting because they're paying surge pricing because drivers aren't getting paid surge fares. Drivers ain't picking nobody up. And so people are still hanging out down there, right? I guarantee I can drive down that motherfucker right now and pick people up. I could go down there and do cash rides right now. It was like, no, I got to be downtown anyways, you know, to do my motherfucking surge, my, uh, reservation so i might just run home real quick because i only live a few minutes from downtown like here i am right here and here i live right where that bend is right there so i can shoot my ass wait a minute right here where it says contempi tempo so i can just shoot my ass right around the corner hang out real quick and just like fuck it when when it's back in the morning i can shoot back and get these motherfuckers for these reservations in the morning but i'm gonna see if i can get me a ride heading down that way if i can get a ride down that way i'll take somebody but I'm not trying to do no 27 mile ride, 32 fucking mile. I'm not trying to do all that. Give me something short. Now I'm up to a four dollar bonus. Look at they keep raising the surge up because everybody's trying to get a ride. <laughs> it's like I'm just sitting here just waiting. At some point they're gonna offer a good ass ride. You know what I'm saying? Like three miles, fucking nine, ten dollars. They're gonna offer that shit in a minute. Especially with a four dollar surge I'm sitting on. Yeah, it's, they're gonna give me a three dollar per mile fucking ride in a minute. It's gonna be at least three, four dollars a mile. But it's like, just keep sitting here, just keep chilling, fuck it, drinking your juice, motherfucker. I still ain't went up, picked up no crusty Dusty yet, so I got some time. I'll probably end up headed to the store, I don't know, after the next couple of rides, I'll head to the store. I got brownies sitting on the counter at the house, so I just might go get some brownies. Fuck paying, you know, fucking three dollars for some goddamn crusty Dusties. I got free brownies sitting on my fucking counter right now. So I can save that money from crusty Dusties for some gasoline and just go eat me some free shit. Come back down in this motherfucker later and pick some people up. All right. Uber ain't got no surge going on right now. Turn Uber on and watch Lyft start trying to send me rides. Lyft going to be like, no, 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 no. We'll we'll use you, man. We'll use you. Like, yeah, to try to do a fucking nature hike. I'm not doing no nature hikes. Y'all job motherfucking mine, motherfucker. Shit. Airport. There's nothing going on to the airport right now. Let's see if some people are down there. What is it looking like? Yeah. They got 28 flights landing between 11 and 12 a.m. So 28 flights are landing from right now till the morning. But it's only like 20 cars down there in the queue. Well, it's more than 20 because you got all these fucking sections filled right there. So 20, that's 60, 75, 80. Yeah, probably about 95 fucking cars down there tops. 95 cars. Not bad. But I'm not going down there. Fuck that. Nope, nope. Because this is where the, the game was right here. That was to the 11, so ain't nobody really getting rides right now. Look over the whole city, and ain't no surge out to the west. Look over to the east. The airport's booming at 250. That's a whole fucking 2 dollars 50 cent. You keep it all to yourself. <laughs> you don't got to share it with nobody. That's 2 dollars 50 cent all for you, motherfucker. <laughs> These old ragged ass fucking apps. How the hell you gonna get somebody a two dollar fifty cent fucking surge? That airport way the fuck out in the middle of nowhere. Ain't nobody trying to go out there. And you know they're gonna be charging people up the ass for Thanksgiving prices, but they ain't paying nobody shit. And they like, dude, we can actually do this this billion dollar bond if we keep ripping all these motherfucking drivers off. I guarantee if they shut down immigration or come up with some way to to keep immigrants either from being on the apps or keep them from you know keep them. Getting money at a higher level like an American would get fucking money, that billion dollar bond gonna flop right in his fucking face. Cause they banking on people to work for pennies. That's what they doing right now. Banking on everybody to work for fucking pennies. We had almost eight dollars to go like four miles. Mm. No, I'm not going up there right now. It's too far up. Four miles? No, it's about two dollars a mile, but it's like, eh, I don't want to go up there. So Uber need to put some motherfucking surge out. They want somebody to do some work for them. They got because I'm telling you right, they probably because it's downtown, 11 o'clock at night, right after the game, they probably charge that person like fucking 20, 24, 25 dollars for that ride. They gonna give me seven dollars out of the 24 dollars. They be like, hey man, here's seven dollars out of that 24, and they keep 17. <laughs> you like, yeah, okay. 
Tell you these motherfuckers will do that shit to you. And that's why we don't see tips no more. These motherfuckers are getting overcharged for everything. They can't pay for that and pay for a fucking tip. This shit's getting crazy at some fucking point, man. It's like, that's why tipping culture is mad because corporate people are digging into everybody's fucking wallets not giving a shit no more. That's why people upset about tipping. I'd be pissed off too because with the amount of money these riders are paying, shit, we should be getting a bigger chunk. Drivers should not have to be relying on fucking tips just to fucking survive. We shouldn't. $21 for 31 miles. See, with multiple stops. This shit's fucking crazy. Ain't nobody trying that shit. It's like... That's 31 miles. Guaranteed, they probably paid about $60, $70 for that trip. $60, $70 bucks they paid from downtown to out there. They probably paid about $60. Bucks, and they're giving me $21 out of it. When they could just give me $40, and I'd do it. Even though it's 31 miles, I'd do it for $40, $45. Probably wouldn't. $8.30 for that. Yeah, let's take it. Fuck it. Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, we're on Jefferson... Okay, picking up Justin from around the corner. All right, let's go. And I still got Lyft running in the background, so yeah. Like I said, Lyft will, Lyft will probably be pissed off in a second because I'm not using them right now, and I still got that $4 surge sitting on their ass. <laughs> You're like, this dude keep getting those. Like, motherfucker, y'all getting yourself. Fucking pay me, and we can make some money together. But if you ain't paying me, fuck it. That shit just sits on my fucking app. I'm not touching it. All right, so let's go around the corner, pick up this dusty motherfucker. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, I see right where we at. That hotel right there? Cool, cool. All right, so I'll hit y'all back up in a sec. Real easy ride right there. Had to come around the corner, clean the car down a little bit. No, that was a real easy ride. It was like $8.33, $8.30, I mean. And it was for three miles. Well, really, I was right around the corner, went over there. So it was probably about $2 a mile ride. Not too bad. Cool ass dude named Justin. And guess what? He lives in Des Moines. So I was like, dude, I went to Drake. So we got to talking about Drake. And he was like, man, I met a dude named, what do you say, uh, Cameron. He said, I met a guy named Cameron earlier. He said, and he, he ran up at Drake Relays too. He was at the Junior Olympics and everything. I was like, that's what's up. We get to chatting and shit. I'm like, yeah, I'm from St. Louis. He's like, oh shit, that dude Cameron's from St. Louis too. <laughs> I was like, St. Louis got all the fast people. We was the ones running from the police all the fucking time. <laughs> You know, I got to fuck with people like that. But yes, but then Uber kept trying to send me bullshit trips like a dollar a mile. I still got my Lyft bonus locked on. Lyft tried to send me a couple of trips. One of them was pretty good. It was about two miles for like $7. But because I was giving them a ride, I don't want to lock my Lyft in. So now I got, you know, Lyft will run. I'll end up picking up some from them later. But I got my, like I said, I get my surge locked on. If Lyft don't send me shit, that's they fucking loss. You know what I'm saying? That's they loss. Cause I locked that shit in and it's like, dude, you got to fucking operate quicker than that lift. If y'all know I'm out working and you want to work, you got to fucking send me a ride. Don't wait till Uber send me some shit. You got to be quicker than that. Send me shit before Uber do. Otherwise you don't get to fucking use the Beamer. Uber gets to use the Beamer. Motherfucker, I'm an independent contractor. I go to the highest bidder. And if it's a private ride out and the private ride is the highest bidder, then that's who I take. 10 miles for nine bucks. Nah, we cool on that shit. We're not doing that. 10 miles for nine dollars nah it's too late for that it's almost midnight we have the two dollar a mile range right now once midnight hits everything's got to be at least you know two three dollars a mile now if it was earlier where there was surge going and i can get a one dollar a mile trip from one area to another area i would do it look at that 16 miles for 967 uber x share not in this motherfucker Uber going to be having all these people pissed off because they're going to be like, dude, how come no drivers are taking these rides no more, Uber? What the fuck, man? We trying to pay you guys for rides. Drivers got to get smarter. Drivers got to get smarter. Let these people stand outside until Uber pays us. If Uber ain't paying us, we're not letting motherfuckers in our car. That's just how it works out. Uber need to say, hey, we need to start paying these drivers. Otherwise, we ain't getting shit. And I guarantee Uber think they're making money because they got people out there stealing our fucking tips. So Uber's like, oh, the prices are right because we're doing well. We're making good money. We're making good money. How are you making good money if all the ARs are fucking tanking right now, but yet you guys are stealing fucking tips to make it appear that you're making money? People going to find out one day what the fuck is going on, and I can't wait till some legislator out there is going to investigate stolen fucking tips. They just got all that stolen money in New York. I'm telling you, they're doing it in every fucking region. It's not just happening in New York. They're doing it everywhere. This is funny. I'm still sitting at this uh, this Circle K, and they keep trying to give me these shit rides all the time. Like, 
515, seven miles right there. It's 12 o'clock at night. 12 o'clock at night. Trip radar. Yep, same shit. So I'm sitting almost by the airport. So they probably going to start sending me airport shit in a minute. And I ain't doing no airport rides. Not until 12 o'clock at night. And there's planes still landing left and right everywhere too. Yeah, nah, I'm cool on that shit. I can already see how this is going to go. You're going to show up to pick up somebody who trying to get a cheap flight in, you know, before the, the traffic gets real crazy for the fucking holiday. And they're going to pay you some shit fares to pick these people up. But because they know it's holiday travel, they're charging people up the ass for these rides from the airport. I'm talking about like $28 for like, you know, five or six miles. Shit like that. Look at that. Here, here's um, $12, 12 for like 11 miles. No, I'm cool on that shit. But they're charging people up the ass for all these airport rides. You know, if, if it's 10 miles from the airport, they're charging people like 60 bucks. Shit like that to get to where they got to get to from the airport. But they're not paying a driver nothing. Look at that. Three miles, five bucks. No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm not going over there. No. And these are people still probably leaving the game. But it's like they're not paying people adequately, paying drivers adequately for these rides leaving the airport. I haven't done an airport ride like in a couple of days other than reservations because they're charging people so much money and these riders are not getting the benefit of, of picking people up, throwing this heavy ass luggage in the back of our car, scratching our bumpers up, ruining our mats in the back of our. I mean, it's like it's there's no reason why we should be doing airport rides at this deep of a discount during the holidays. No reason for it. It's corporate greed. That's what's going on. Corporate greed. That's the only thing that can explain why all these people at the airport can't get no rides is because of corporate greed. Drivers got the cars out. We're ready to work. We ready to drive. We ready to go out there and make this money. But when you get corporate greed, seeing all these people at the airport, they licking their fucking chops like, ooh, we're going to charge these people up the ass, man. Woo. What about the drivers, man? Fuck them drivers. Ain't nobody worried about them damn drivers. Pay their ass base fare. Pay them, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks to leave the airport. And yet we got to go through 20 minutes of traffic just to get in there. 15, 20 minutes to get them out into where they got to get to. 35, 40 minutes of traffic for $10. Airport rides. And these, these corporations don't give a shit. Lyft don't give a shit. Uber don't give a shit. This is what they're doing to people. And people at the airport pissed off at drivers. Why don't these lazy ass drivers come get us? It's their job to come get us. They don't want to do their job. No, we want to do our job. Imagine you at your W-2 going to work one day. They having you do instead of the work of one person, the work of two people. And then saying instead of you paying the salary that they agreed to pay you, they're going to cut that shit in half. So now you're doing two people's jobs at half of what you was getting paid to do one person job now. That's how it feels in rideshare right now. And these motherfuckers out there licking their chops, making record profits on the backs of drivers out there working like slaves in these streets. And that's why we're not picking people up. It ain't got shit to do with y'all personally. It's got a lot to do with these corporations being greedy. And for the immigrants that are over here working that don't know better, I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them. Because they really think they came to America to get a chance. They didn't think they came to America to get enslaved all over again. They didn't think of that. And here they are on soil thinking, oh, we got great opportunity. We can make money now. They have no idea. No idea this expensive country to live in is basically enslaving them, making them work for pennies on a dollar of what they should be paid in this country. They're making what they probably could make in their own country up a few bucks, maybe. Yeah, multiple stops, almost nine miles for six dollars. Now nah, I'm cool on that shit. And so that's why we got to sit up there and show this is probably an Uber Eats. Oh, hell, it's even worse. $14 already viewed. Oh, of course I already viewed it. I don't want to do that shit. Like, no. $14 for like 23 miles almost. Now nah, I'm cool on that shit. But that's what it's sad for these immigrants to come over here really thinking that America is a really nice country and the people are hospitable and everything's going to be nice and they're going to live this dream and get this American dream. And all you got is corporate people in suits sitting in a boardroom going, we can enslave these people. They have no idea about how powerful of a corporation we are. We can enslave these people and ruin their fucking lives. Now that they're over here, we can ruin their ass. We can put them in communities they can't afford and really get them. Nah, $9 for nine miles? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. It's midnight right now. We're not doing a dollar a mile at midnight. Like I said, there's somebody out there taking these kind of rides, but I'm not that one. I'm not that one. I'll sit and chill right where I'm at. Like I said, I feel bad for these immigrants, man, because nobody's standing up for them. Nobody's standing up for them. 
Everybody want to dodge the fucking situation. They're late to the fucking party trying to speak on it now. We've been speaking on this shit for like fucking months. Like, stop playing people. Stop using people like that. That shit ain't cool. Back at the house now, but check this shit out. This is crazy. These are all the scheduled lift rides for the morning. $5.32 for all these are airport rides. Look at that. $5.32. $5.30. They're, they're getting like big money for all these airport rides. Look at these there. $7.31 for five miles. Look at it. $6.00. $9.00. Look, $9. These are all airport rides. $5. $5. $5. And this is just a regular ride, $8. The regular ride for $8 is almost better than all the damn $5 airport rides. And I'm sitting there like, you got to load in people's luggage. You got to get through all that airport traffic, that holiday traffic, all of that shit. And these are just picking up people, taking them to the hotels up north. Five. These are worse than just getting on a damn shuttle. You better off just getting on the shuttle and just saying, hey, take me from the terminal over to the airport. Three miles away, that's air. That's a hotel. Three miles away, that's a hotel. Hotel. All these are like little hotel hops. Four miles, that's hotel. Look at this. Right, 1.9 miles, that's definitely hotel. So you got to pick up. Then you got to stop on 44th. That's probably a store. And then after you stop at the store, then you got to go over to the, man, I'm like, these people are crazy. Crazy. And this is all airport stuff. Yeah. Lyft, nah. Ain't nobody doing these damn reservations on Lyft. Lyft's reservations are, are dirt. Look at this. Let me find some right here. 5.5 right. miles, 731. Let me go show you what my Uber shit looks like for about the same distance on Uber. The same distance on Uber reservation is, let's go in here real quick. Uh, where are my opportunities? Six miles, $20. Five miles, $20. So you can get an Uber reservation for the airport. Five miles, $20. Six miles, $20. Or you go over to Uber, five miles, $7. Four miles, $6. Eight miles, $9. Lyft reservations are straight garbage. Straight garbage. Do not do airport reservations on Lyft. You got to be completely out of your mind to be doing this shit on Lyft. Reservations on Lyft. Even riders out there, riders, stop booking reservations with Lyft. You think you're saving money. All you're really doing is setting yourself up for failure. Ain't nobody picking you up. Everybody's using Uber for reservations. They're not using Lyft for reservations because all that money you give in the Lyft, Lyft is keeping it. At least with Uber, they're going to kind of make it like, you know, $4 a mile, $3 a mile for us. These are airport rides at a dollar a mile. Dollar a mile. Dollar, I mean, psh, please. And these are reservations. Riders, do not use Lyft for reservations. I mean, do yourself a favor. Don't have your hopes up because you're sitting there thinking somebody going to come pick you up. You're going to have to have at least a 10 or $15 surge on these reservations just to go pick people up. You better off just using Uber. Just dropped off my private ride. So now I'm sitting around seeing where everybody's going. That's about 10 miles for $12 with a 350 uh, no, we're not doing that. There's too much traffic right now for that. I guess I got a 350 surge right now. Let's see what these reservations are talking about. Uh, 7.45 p.m.? No, no. $12 for six miles? No, we're not doing that. Nope, get out of that. 9.71 for about six miles is with a 350 surge? Probably not. I need to see a map of that. There's a lot of traffic out right now. 6.30 p.m.? Like I said, I just dropped my private ride off. It is traffic everywhere. This is nuts out here. So I'm about to go up here and try to, was it 971 for six miles? Mm. 971 for six, no, let's not do that. Like I said, they can do better than that. 971 for six miles, and like I said, it's busy right now, crazy traffic right now, so I can get at least $2 a mile out here. I'm not about to drive through all this fucking traffic for a dollar a mile. No, nah, not happening. They gotta come up on that price a little bit. That's how we gotta be, you know what I'm saying? We can't be scared to, to demand what we think we're worth out here because they're not going to pay you what you're worth. They're not. That's not how it works. They'll pay you what they can get to get profitable. about you. Look at that. 17 miles for $16. No, nah, I doubt it. They're going to pay you exactly what they think you're worth, and they don't think you're worth shit anyways. $13 for five miles. Time is at 8.25 p.m. Let's go to Cave Creek. No, nah, we're not going to Cave Creek. Let's get rid of that. And like I said, I'm probably going to cruise up here. Right now, I'm sitting on the side of the road. $13. 
I mean, 13 miles for $14? Nope. He said, they're not paying anything for these fucking rides. They're just not. UberX shared. Look at that. 15 miles for $14. Nope. Not even that. At some point, these apps are going to realize that as drivers, we're not just out here aimlessly taking whatever they're throwing at us. We know what we're worth. We know what these people are paying. Let's do a fair business. Let's do good business. Because if we can't do good business, this is how shit's going to be. Right now, they're looking for a lot of investment money. So they're forging, they're, they're kind of not really forging their books. They're making their books look like shit. Look at that, 350. No, hell no. For like five miles? No. That's 736 for like five miles. That's 350 surge on there. So they're basically giving me 350 for that. No. And these people, like I said, this is a holiday right now. This is Thanksgiving holiday. Today is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And this is the best they can do with these apps. The best they could do. Look at that. Set like eight miles almost for ten dollars, and that's with a three fifty surge. No, we've got to we've got to stand our ground with these fucking apps. We've got to stand our ground with them. We can't allow them to play us like this. Like we're happy to be out here working for fucking pennies. No, they're gonna have some bad quarters. Bad quarters. It's a dollar a mile with a three fifty surge on there. Seven eighty three for seven miles. Nope. You know we're gonna go offline real quick because they're not throwing me anything worth shit anyway. So I don't mind just not even dealing with them. Stay offline. Demand is high. But the pay is not high. So I'm not going to get on there if the pay is still fucking low with, with high demand. There's no point of me fucking driving. There's a lot of traffic out there. Somebody on Lyft gave me a $5 fucking tip. It's like, shh, today, five bucks. Who knows who gave it to me? They probably gave it to me just because I'll be going off on the ass all the time. Let me see what Lyft's got. Maybe they're going to do me better. Give me $2 a mile, $3 a mile, something like that. Give me some short ass trips. Like I said, right now, Uber... They need to just fuck it. They're trying to get driverless cars. 431 for like two miles. Uh, fuck it, let's take it. It's about $2 a mile. I'll take that. I'd rather take $2 a mile than not. And he's like, <laughs> he's 450 feet away from me right now. He's probably like, holy shit, this dude's in the parking lot. Yeah. I mean, he's like right there. So, of course, I'm going to do this. He's Like I said, I'm sitting in the parking lot right now. Let me cruise around here and pick him up. That way, get this quick $4 and hopefully... Shit. Make some more money later. I'll be back in a second. Real quick ride right there. It was a cool guy. He was hanging, he was at the Goodwill. He was picking up some stuff from the Goodwill. So I was like, dude, this is my store, man. What are you doing at my store? He was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. I said, dude, I shop at the Goodwill all the time, man. I, he, he had like about four bags, so he found some pretty good deals up in there. But I was like, man, I bought like a $300 like leather, big old leather uh, vest that I ride with my motorcycle with. It was a Wilson's leather. Got it for like 25 bucks. It's a like brand new, still with the leather tags and everything on it, man. Goodwill is my spot. So we was like chatting about Goodwill. He used to own a Grand National. A Grand National is like one of the old school cars. Those are some fast ass cars, big ass engines, big engines, GM cars. So he was talking about his Grand National back in the day. He used to run it on a quarter mile. And he says, I didn't even have like that much done to it. And I was running like almost 10s. I was like running low 11s with that car. I was like, damn, that's good to not have nothing done to it. Just straight driving a quarter mile. That's pretty good, man. But it's like, yeah, like I said, tonight's going to be one of those nights. I can already see the apps ain't paying shit right now. Because like I, I had to turn Uber off. Said, and that was a real quick hop, you know, pick up at the Goodwill right there. Shot him around the corner of his apartment. All good. All good. Now I'm going to try to swing back down here. See what they got. Right now, Lyft's not sending me nothing because I don't have Uber on. The moment I, when I get down here, I'm going to turn Uber on and watch how quick they start sending me rides. Watch. You'll be like, damn, how'd you know that shit? They do it every time. They won't send me a ride until I turn the other app on. So now they got me out of the uh, surge zone. I'm going to go down here, see what they, I'm going to make a right when I get down here at the light, turn Uber on and they're going to start sending me rides never fails never fails i gotta get gas too shit i'm down to 64 miles still empty damn i've been running the shit out of this car i'm at about an eighth of a tank right now so i should probably go down here and, and get gas before i start driving around all right it's wednesday night 651 this is where i'm sitting right now tomorrow's thanksgiving so hey this will definitely last me all the way through thanksgiving it probably lasts me all through the weekend but that's where i'm at right now Okay, that's where I'm at right there. 13 and a half gallons. Let's see how much this will get me in the tank. Let's go take a look real quick. Like I said, I still got that lift running. Lift ain't sent me nothing yet. Let's see what I got. Oh, hey, 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 I'm up there. 
423 miles. There we go. Time to go. Oh, it's going to keep moving around. <laughs> it doesn't know what's going on. It keeps trying to adjust back and forth, but time to get on the road. Let's do what we do. I said I still got lift running over here. So lift is still running. Ain't got shit going right now. Now watch what happens as soon as I throw Uber on. Watch this. It's like lift's been running the whole time. I gassed up and everything. Lift's been running the whole time. Nothing's happened. No trips have come through. Nothing. The moment I throw Uber on, watch this shit. $3 next trip. Now watch watch Lyft start trying to send me shit now. Never fails. $13 for like 16 miles. Nope. Let's see what else you got. Give me something short. What do we got over here? Give me something short. I saw some people over here by the bus stop over here. I should cruise up and ask these motherfuckers if they need a ride. <laughs> like, hey, y'all need a ride, motherfucker? $10. I got Spotify. Shit. They'd be like, let's go. $11 for about 16 miles, multiple stops. Doubt it. Man, they sending out some straight trash. What the fuck? It's like, there's no way you could take these kind of rides. None, none. See, there's a lift. Lyft finally sent me one, but how long did it take them? Look at that, $9 for nine miles going back the other way, no. See, they finally sent me one, and like I said, I got gas and everything. They didn't send me one that whole time. I'm not in the surge zone now, so I'm gonna go offline with their ass. But yeah, I sat online the whole time, they never sent me nothing until Uber started sending me rides. That's how they fucking do every time. They won't send me a ride until. $12 for 14 miles? Nah, we're cool on that shit. That's how they do every time. They'll wait to see what the other app is going to send me. And then they say, okay, cool, cool. Jeff's online. I'm telling these motherfuckers are linked. They got the same server. They got to have the same server. Look what the apps are trying to do. They're trying to get me to take some garbage, and I won't take it. Look at that. $10 for 10 miles. Nope, that's with a 250 bonus. Nope, not doing it. Not doing it. What kind of reservation they got coming up? 1250 for nine miles. Doubt it not even worth my time they know me if the reservation ain't worth it i don't touch it yep multiple stops 994 for like 15 miles almost nope doubt it if this is the best they got to send man this might be a good night to just call it off this is the night before thanksgiving this is the best they got and you know these people are paying for good rides $15 for almost 27 miles almost. No. We're good. We're good. They could do better than that. Let's see something real quick. I'm going to whip this car around and park the other way. Another reservation. Do I want to look at it? Do I dare open that fucking trash up? Do I dare? Let's see. I'll say it's going to be a dollar a mile. $13 for 10 miles. Told you. Pretty fucking close. Southwest Airlines, no. 15, that's almost 19 miles to drive for $14. Going to the airport, nope. I was like, I'm not doing this shit tonight. Mm -mm. Now they got me in a $3 surge. $3, $6 for like six miles with a 325 surge. Nope. Don't think so. so I'm not budging, not budging. They got to start paying some more money. You know what I'm saying? We know what we out here for. Give me some short shit. Give me a $2 a mile trip. $18 for 19 miles. No, probably not. It's way too far. I'm saying, we know what these people are paying and we're not bending right now. Uber is sitting there trying to do this fucking billion dollar bond shit. And this is how they're going to pay for it. Fucking taking drivers, taking our cars, running our shit into the fucking ground. $8 for like six miles. Mm, no, nah, I'm, I'm good on that shit. I wouldn't mind going that way because that's headed back towards my house, but it ain't really shit over here. You got something $11 way down south. You got a lot of good shit jumping over here. I'm already in an area where I can make decent money. They just got to make sure they fucking give me the money right. $9 for almost 15 miles. No, we're cool. And that's, are we trying to tell the passengers? Damn, look at that shit way back. That's like 18 miles all the way up. No, fuck that. We keep telling these people, let's see what kind of reservation they got. Probably another dollar a mile. $20 for 10. No. 
There's another one going to, nope, that's to the airport. Almost 20 miles for $17 to the airport. And this right here is at 4.40 in the morning right here. $12 for 16 miles. Uber X, nope. 4.40 in the morning, 10 miles. No, probably not. Six ninety five for six months. Nah, nope. Now nah, let's get rid of that one too. I don't want to do that reservation. It's too far of a ride. Eight thirty one for almost nine miles. Nope. And that's with a surge on there. Like I said, I'm still sending a three dollar surge right now. I'll probably take one more trip than to turn it off and turn on lift. Yeah, let's turn this off. It's ten dollars for about ten miles, and that's with a surge. Let's turn Uber off real quick. Because Uber's not really doing much right now. Like, the surge don't mean shit. The surge means nothing. If they're not paying you, then there's no point in even taking these fucking trips. There's no point. So let's go on here real quick and let's see what Lyft is doing right now. Lyft has no fucking surge. You, this is going to be ugly. This is going to be ugly. I can already tell. With a dollar surge out there, yeah, this is about to get ugly. Now they just put surge up over here. $3 for three miles. Nah, we're cool on that shit cool on that shit and they got more surge looking like it's way over there four dollars for almost four miles with the stop no we're cool on that shit cool on that shit yeah let's turn this one off too all right i think we're just done for a minute so i'm gonna listen to me some music and cruise around for a while it seems like nothing's out there right now so i'm gonna take a little bit off and just enjoy some music here chilling at the circle k right down the street is 650 and then I got another, you know, 475 and all that. I'm thinking about going back online to seeing what it is. It's just so much traffic right now in front of me. It's 740, cars everywhere. Not even sure I want to go down the street to try to get this money. I'm on Paw Patrol right now. I can go down Southern probably about a couple of blocks and pick up a ride. So let's see if I can do that. A 275 surge, I could do better than that. Let's see what I can get if I just kind of jump out here and go down the street a little bit. Yeah, we're not going that way. It ain't nothing but fucking cars. So let's go this way. <laughs> I swear it's like, man, I hate driving at this time of day because there's nothing but traffic out right now. Like, you can't even leave a parking lot because there's so many goddamn cars. It's like, man, this shit's crazy. This holiday season is going to be absolutely nuts. Oh, I could have went, but man, this traffic's too quick. Too quick. All right, do we go south or north? Then, of course, a motherfucker is walking down the sidewalk. Jesus Christ, man, I can't win for shit. Just when it's a break in traffic, motherfucker walking down the sidewalk. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Come on, I gotta go. These motherfuckers are killing me right now. Let's roll. Like, Murphy's Law. Murphy's fucking law. Whatever's gonna happen, you know something's gonna be off. Alright, so. I can cruise up, hit Pueblo, shoot down Pueblo. Pick up that little money right there. This is Emilita right here. I'm not gonna turn down Emilita. I'm gonna go down the next street. And of course, it's a red light. I came to a red light. Fuck it, I'm turning right. I'm not sending this fucking red light. God damn, I didn't want to go down the street. I wanted to go straight, but as soon as I come pulling up, they throw a fucking red light there. All right, five dollars, not bad. Five dollars is not bad. I can go online right now. Come off a of Paw Patrol real quick, cause I don't need that extra dollar fifty. Let's see what we got. See what we got coming down the pipe right now. Let's go, Uber. What do you got, you ragamuffins? <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got? Because I don't need the extra dollar fifty. I just need some good short rides. Don't give me no shit to the airport. What did I just say? Don't give me no shit to the airport. And what do they do? Send me some shit to the airport. These motherfuckers. Man, that's a five dollar surge, but it's like 13 miles, almost 13 miles for $13. Here's another fucking trip right here. $14 for 13 miles. Nope, not doing that either. I'm going to pull over right here because they're going to start sending me a lot of fucking trips. So I'm going to pull over and scout rides right here. What kind of... Nope, $9 for 9 miles. Nope, don't want that either. What is that? 10.40 p.m. That's going to Scott Harbor from downtown. Definitely not that. $12 for 12 miles. Man, these... No, I'm getting rid of that too. I'm not doing no reservations right now. All right, where are we at? 475 next trip. All right, I can go a little bit more and get extra damn near two bucks, but I just don't feel like driving right now. Where was that five at? The five was back here. Who knows? It's only a quarter. I ain't worried about it. 
It's enough cars cruising by and shit to keep me posted. I'm like, I'm not going nowhere. I'll just sit here and get it. What's the reservation looking like? $15, 14 miles? Definitely not. Let's decline that one. Oops, let's go back in here. All right, let's see what they're going to give us. Four seventy-five. dollars What was that? That's over on Alma School right there. It's probably a lot of traffic over there, too. A lot of traffic. All right, let's see if I can scoot up over there real quick. Because once I move this car, they might be, look at that, 16, $16 for like almost 23 miles. <laughs> yeah, okay. They won't give me no short trips for nothing. These are all apartments around me. Guaranteed somebody's got to need a short trip. Guaranteed. They keep giving me all these fucking nature hikes every time I turn around. They're not giving me nothing short. $14 for what is that? Fucking 16, 17 miles? Nope. All fucking nature hikes. No short trips. Guaranteed, if I didn't have this fucking surge, they'd be trying to give me all these short trips. Hey, go five miles for $3. Look at that. $770. What? How is that? $425. So that means that's like $3 to go like almost six miles. That's what that is. $3 to go six miles. Hell no, I'm not doing that. No. It's not even $2 a mile and I got a 425 surge. That's not even $2 a mile. What the hell? They tripping. They straight tripping. So that's what they, they, they dropped. I got a 425 surge. They dropped that shit all the way to the floor. What are they doing? Okay, they're going to give me a $3 surge now. $3 surge. Look at that. $3 surge. $8 for 10 miles. And I got a $3 surge. Yeah, they playing games with me now. But now it's time for fucking Harriet Tubman to come out. I'm done playing games with these motherfuckers. They want to play games? Let's play games. $16 for damn near 27 fucking miles. You had to hurry up and turn this shit on Uber Pet real quick. They was pissing me off. It was giving me a whole bunch of shitty trips or whatever. So I'm like, nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're going to do something a little different than the other doing all these shitty ass trips. I'm going to get out of traffic. That's one thing I'm going to do because I'm not sitting here fielding all these fucking rides and they've got 8,000 cars speeding around me in fucking circles and shit, but they trying to send me all these fucking rides. I'm not going to total my fucking car out for a bunch of dollar a mile ass rides. It's like, fuck that. Put that shit on Uber Pet. Cruise for a minute. Let's see some. How do I get this thing to stop fucking talking? Because this shit... Oh, wait a minute. There has to be a way to do it. Maybe it's in here. Nope, I don't know. Because uh, what the problem is is that because they made me update my app or whatever, now they got it to where it's um trying to give me fucking voice directions and shit like that. And that's not what I'm trying to do. Still got it on Paw Patrol. Let's go off Paw Patrol. Let's get back on UberX and see what they got. Still got my $3 surge. Hopefully they give me a short trip. Yeah, no, nah, that's the new man. These motherfuckers. Yeah, we're not gonna be sitting there playing these games with these fucking people. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to do something short, I mean, all of these trips are garbage. Every single one of them with a three dollar surge, just straight garbage. I don't know how this app is making money right now. It's got to be idiots taking these fucking rides. Look at that, fourteen dollars, twenty two miles almost. I'm going back to Uber Pet. $6 for that. All right, I'll accept that. Picking up Mike down the street. Let me make sure I'm on Uber Pet. Okay. Because after him, I'm done. I'll do this six bucks for this little quick short two fucking miles or whatever. But they're starting to piss me off with this bullshit. They keep giving me all these fucking whack ass fucking nature hikes. And I'm like, I don't do those rides. They know I don't do those rides. These motherfuckers ain't stupid. They can look at the goddamn algorithm. They just run an algorithm and be like, dude. What's the chance of this dude taking a nature hike? Slim to none. Fucking slim to none. If the prices y'all talking about, slim to none. Shit, give me some fucking short, man. I swear. These motherfucking apps is on some other shit this holiday season, boy. Because, I mean, they're charging these people up the ass for these rides. And you see what they're throwing us. Not even a dollar a mile with surge on it. With surge, busy traffic. We still ain't getting a dollar a mile. That's why I kicked that shit out, man. Fuck that. Harriet Tubman this trip is i'm at home right now 9.59 including a 6.25 surge so that's basically three dollars it was paying me for that three dollars i'm not doing no 28 dollars for no damn 24 miles no 
But look at this. This is basically three dollars they were paying me to go like 13 miles almost. Three dollars to drive 13 miles. Then say, hey, but we're gonna give you a 625 bonus on it to make it nine dollars. No, no, that's not how we play this game around here. We ain't stupid. Like I said, I'm looking at all these little bonuses and everything they got sitting around here. It ain't really shit to do. These, I'm like I said, this is not even like a true holiday right now. I don't know what's going on. Don't know what's going on. For people to even be out here driving for these pennies, I mean, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at that. Nine miles for $9.86. That's five dollars. So they paying me four dollars to go nine miles, basically. Four dollars to go nine miles. Nah. Holiday. I'm telling you, this is a holiday right now. They're paying people four dollars to drive nine miles on holiday. Because then, oh, we're going to give you a bonus, though. No, I don't want the bonus. Because I'm not going to be sitting there driving around for no fucking four dollars for no nine miles. That's not what we're doing. So, I'm about to go out here. What's up, pups? What's up, pups? I'm about to go out here and, and see. Look at this. What is this? 1121 for about 20 miles. Nah, nah. This is a holiday. I hope all these drivers out there and all these riders out there see what we're talking about. Because right now they're sitting around trying to get to and from. They're trying to get the places. They're trying to see if, you know, they can get rides to go to do a little Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving, whatever the hell they be doing nowadays with other buddies and shit. And they're like, how come ain't nobody coming to pick us up? Do you see what we've been paying? Fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars for like 18 miles. And that's with a 325 cert now. I don't know what these apps are thinking. Like, do they not realize that? We all didn't just start driving last year. We're all from this country, you know what I'm saying? We didn't all just start driving last year. Like, we know what's going on. 670 for seven miles. And that's with a 325 bonus. It's like three bucks for seven miles. They're paying 50 cent a mile on Thanksgiving right now. 50 cent a mile is what they're paying people right now. 50 cent a mile. It's crazy. It's crazy. $13 for 19 miles. Uber X share. Nope. See, what's going on is that these apps, they they probably lied to people, told them they were going to make all of this money and they're going to pay all these things back before the year end and they're going to pay all these, you know, these loans back that they got to pay on. Like I'm telling you, that's why Uber's trying to do this billion dollar damn package deal. They owe a lot of people a lot of money that they said they were going to pay back and they ain't got the money right now. But yet Dara and all these people got all this money and shit. They got all this damn they got all these damn, you know, packages where, you know, the the CEO got money. Everybody's got stock. Everybody's got money. But we're like, OK, so everybody got money. You supposed to pay all these people back, but you, you can't pay them back. What's really going on? What's going on? What was that 631? I'll do that trip. It's like two miles for 631. I could do that. Let me go pick up Erica real quick. <laughs> right around the corner. Look like she had Jack in the Box. Paw Patrol right now. Now, just when I picked up Erica, actually it was a guy, so I picked him up. They tried to hurry up and throw me a ton of these rides. Like, as soon as, I mean, as soon as he got in the car, just ride at the ride. I'm like, what the hell? So I hurry up and put it on Paw Patrol. No wonder, because where I was dropping him off was the surge area. That's why they kept throwing me all them damn rides. I didn't even make it out the parking lot of Jack in the Box. It was just so many. I'm like, what the hell? Like three rods popped up. Like I said, nope, not that one. Another one popped up. Damn, nope, not that one. Another one popped up. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Sure enough, it was damn. I was dropping them off in the surge area. So I still got it on Paw Patrol right now. I'm not taking it off until I get out of this neighborhood right here. It's just a lot of snaky turns. And I just don't feel like doing fucking algebra while I'm trying to get out of this neighborhood. Because, you know, the apps will do that shit. They don't give a fuck about, you know, what you're driving or where you're driving. They'll have you total out your fucking car. They don't care. So I make sure I get out of the neighborhoods, get away from all these cars, parked on the side of the road and everything, get to where I gotta get to, then I'll start going through calculations. It's like, they can hold off and wait. These motherfuckers sending nothing but bullshit trips anyways. They can hold off. They ain't sending me nothing worth taking. So it's like, when I get out of this neighborhood, we'll talk, we'll talk. Yeah, I don't mess around, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I know how these apps operate. I've been doing this shit long enough. They wanna hurry up and, and rush you to take a ride real quick because it ain't no surge where you are. So as soon as that dude got in the car, I swear it was just ride after ride after ride. I was like, what the hell? I said, you know what? Let me put this shit on Paw Patrol. Sure enough. 
All right, now I can get off of Paw Patrol real quick. Let's go. See what kind of rods they got coming down the pipe now. Where are we at? All right, I don't know what they keep taking away all the surges. All right, so if I go north a little bit. I'm going to 1194 for like 12 miles, but I got a 525 surge. So they're trying to give me $7 for like 12 miles. It's crazy shit. How are you going to give me like that much? Let's see what kind of reservations they got. Five miles for like 20 bucks, 630 in the morning. No, I'm not driving until 630 in the morning. Sorry about that. Not doing it. Like I said, they done jacked me for my last two airport trips, done jacked my tips. So I don't do airport trips no more. So I don't give a fuck what the price is. I'm not getting up that early to do no airport shit. Was this seventeen dollars for what? Twenty-three miles, almost twenty-three miles, seventeen dollars, and that's a five twenty-five certain man. Please, doubt it, doubt it. I'm gonna turn right here and sit on the side of the road. This is what they're doing. Like I said, this is sad. That look, fifteen dollars for nineteen miles. That's what a five. They're paying me ten dollars to drive nineteen miles right now. That's craziness. Crazy, and this is holiday right now holiday money they really trying to rake in all the dough these apps are trying to rake in all the dough on these 50 cent a mile ass rides trying to see which people they can get look i got nothing but surge all around me but all these trips ain't worth shit around me that's why i'm declining all these trips they think there's a bunch of idiots out here taking these trips like oh yeah yeah give them a 525 surge but you want me to drive 17 dollars to go down there 20 fucking miles and i got a 525 surge these are not surges these are not bonuses this is bullshit is what it is. If you can't even give us a dollar a mile on holiday pay, look at that, 11 miles away, 11 miles away, $9 with a 425, that's 15 miles for $4. They're trying to give me 15 miles of driving for $4. Then saying, oh, but we're going to give you 525 on top of that. You ain't giving me shit on top of that. $4 to go 11 miles, $4 to go 11, man, please. $20, what's that? That's damn near 35 miles, 35 miles. Man, that's crazy. Crazy. And I'm like, nah, nah, we're not doing that. Not for no $20. Like, I don't know what they... I'm telling you, Uber is hurting right now. They're hurting for fucking cash right now. That's why this shit... They don't have any money to give away. They fucked up everything. They Nobody's doing nature hikes right now. So they're lying about making record profits and doing all this shit. They're lying about it all. $16 for 18 miles. How many UberX shares have we seen in the past few minutes? These are all UberX shares, all UberX shares. They're really trying to get me to do an UberX share ride. And they're, these people are probably not asking for an UberX share ride. Uber just wants to pay me an UberX share rate. That's what this is. They don't want to pay me an UberX rate. They don't even want to pay me a decent rate. $10 for that. What's that? Almost five miles. Let's do it. For $5.25, let's do it. Because that gets me out of this fucking neighborhood right here. Like I said, I'm not going to sit there and play these games with these fucking people. They're going to have to deal with me declining shit all fucking night. And this is about $2 a mile. I'm sitting on a 525 surge, and I'm getting a $2 a mile ride right now. I'm telling you, this shit's crazy. This is crazy. They should not be doing us like this as drivers on a fucking holiday. We should be at home right now eating motherfucking turkey and goddamn cranberry sauce. Yeah, we riding around for fucking 50 cent a fucking mile holiday shit we contractors we're not no fucking employees ain't no employee gonna be driving like that if you had an employee come in on their day off even on a holiday these motherfuckers getting double time pay they getting time and a half triple time pay they getting bonuses and shit like that so how you gonna sit here on a fucking holiday paying motherfuckers 50 cent a mile i mean that was four dollars on that last ride four dollars to go 11 miles to get to somebody to take them one mile four dollars for that but then said, but we're going to give you a 525 surge on top of that. You ain't giving me shit. You ain't giving me shit on top of that because I'm not taking that. $4 to go 12 damn miles to pick somebody up on a holiday. This is a holiday. These motherfuckers got me fucked up. Trip right there. She was just picking up some stuff from um uh, fries. Just getting home to cook a little bit. Oh, shit. And she gave me a tip. Thank you. Thank you. 15 bucks. Thank you. Appreciate that. She was picking up some stuff from fries. She had her uh, little daughters come out to grab some of the stuff. And it was the big water bottle thing. I'm like, these little girls. I'm like, no. She says, no, they can carry it. So I tried to hand the little girl the water. <laughs> she, like, she was about to fold over. I was like, move out the way. I said, like, give me that water. Give it here. So I just carried it up to the door for her. 
I was like, man, they kind of lived in the apartment complex. That little girl was not going to make it that far with that water. She was not. She was like, no, I get, they be all hands on deck. I get them to help me all the time. I was like, no. And it's funny because I told her, I said, you know what? I said, your daughter looks like my little sister. My little sister's like 47. I said, she looks like my little sister. <laughs> she looked just like Stephanie. She's like, yeah, I call them the peanut twins. Is that two little girls that look like twins? I didn't even see the other one at the house. She's like, yeah, she said, that's her twin sister. I'm like, that looks like my little sister, Stephanie. Holy shit. But no, it was pretty cool. Then she gave me a final tip. Appreciate that, Miss Chris. Appreciate that. Like I said, I need the little workout today anyways. She had to carry that big-ass case of water all the way to the middle of the apartments, up them steps. I was like, man, them little girls, she said, no, they do it all the time. I'm like, Shh, no, no, these little girls, they'll fold over. That water was, she was like, she put, I was about to put in her hands. I started leaning forward. I was like, you know what? No, nope, I'll do it. I said, let me lock the car. Hold up. <laughs> the kids are hilarious. Yeah, I'm about to go up here right now. I'm not going down getting that 450. I got it on Paw Patrol right now. That's why I'm not going to get a ride. I'm still running on Paw Patrol. But they, they keep sending me reservations, airport reservations. But I told these motherfuckers, I got fucked on my last two reservations. I ain't get a tip on either one. Either reservation I did. No tips on them. And I'll show you too. Here we go right here. That $20 one right there, I didn't get a tip on that one. That was my airport reservation at what? four o'clock in the morning there was another one right here that twenty dollar one right there that was at 4 50 in the morning no no tip so i'm not picking these motherfuckers up for the airport in the morning fuck them if you can't tip me and i'm picking you up at four o'clock in the morning 4 50 in the morning find another fucking way to the airport i'm not doing no more reservations fuck that shit you want me to pick somebody up throw a fucking 15 20 surge on that motherfucker at four o'clock in the morning i'll pick them up but i ain't doing no more pickups for fucking free no find you find your way to the airport at that point because like I said, we don't have to do that shit. We're not obligated to do that shit. I do that out of generosity. I end up stopping my app. I'll book these reservations. When I book a reservation, it locks up my phone for an hour. So that's 20 bucks I'm going to make in that hour because they're going to shut my phone down about 30, 40 minutes before. They sometimes try to sneak in some short rides, but they usually ain't worth shit. So they'll try to sneak in some short rides. Once I lock a reservation up, I'm not making no fucking money. Only money I'm making is that reservation. And I do that shit because usually people will tip me, you know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. They'll tip me to kind of sweeten the deal. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, 30, 35 for that hour. That's cool. I only did one trip. That's cool. I could do that. But if you ain't fucking tipping and I'm locking you up on a reservation, man, fuck you. Shit. I'm not locking my phone down for you. Hope you get to the airport. Fuck that shit. Cruising right here. I'm gonna see what Lyft's got. Well, Lyft had a, a two dollar surge sitting right. I think I'm sitting right on the two dollars. Let's see some. Let's see if I go online and get a two dollar surge. Dollar twenty five. What the fuck they got? Dollar. Oh lord. Fucking dollar. Yeah, you got your motherfucking mind. <laughs> Give me a fucking dollar ball. No, fuck that. Turn that shit off quick as a motherfucker. I'm not driving on Lyft for no one fucking dollar bonus. Fuck that. Lyft shit already too whack. And then you gonna throw a dollar on top of that whackness, man. Keep that shit. You motherfuckers better put out like five, six dollars or something worthy. Motherfucker, y'all took a lot of Lux drivers and now y'all made them not be Lux drivers. So now I gotta cut over over here and see if I can get that seven dollars. I'm right by my house again. I just did a big ass circle. I'm right back by my house again. Ain't that some shit? I did two rides and somehow I ended up right back where I started. <laughs> That's how we do it though. That's how we do it. We do big ass fucking circles out here, shit. I was like that was that 1544 and then the one before that was 631 so i did 21 dollars. i did a fucking circle <laughs> it's just funny as a motherfucker i was like i'm right back where i started okay okay fucking rag them up and motherfuckers i swear so let's see all right i'm gonna cruise down here yeah they ain't gonna give me no surge they ain't gonna give me none of that surge i'm probably on I'm on Paw Patrol right now anyway, so I can turn this back on, stay on Paw Patrol, see what they gonna get me. 850 sitting on there, let's see what these, all these reservations and shit. Eight miles, $12 decline. Like I said, they shouldn't have took my motherfucking tips on my last two airport trips. Now I'm like, like I said, I do airport trips almost every day. I do two or three airport reservations every single day. This will be the first day that I don't do them in a long time. I do a $20 one, I do two or three for, I be making $60 in the morning doing them, $75, $80 in the morning doing them. I don't give a fuck about the money. It's the principle of you stealing my fucking tip. Last two airport runs I did, no tip at all. That is unread. That is so fucking rare. Very uncommon. Very uncommon. 
And yet I'm supposed to sit there and believe that two people completely unrelated didn't tip me for helping them with luggage, getting up to the airport on time, having a good conversation. Two motherfuckers didn't tip me. Man, fuck that. I will not be doing airport reservations till Uber and Lyft figure that shit out. Quit stealing all the fucking time. That irritates me. And this is how they losing good drivers, playing these games with drivers. This is how they losing us. They playing these games, stealing our tips, withholding fares, trying to give us cheap shit. This is how they're going to lose good drivers. Like I said, I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll find a way. I'll keep doing fucking business, excuse me, business cards. I'll figure some shit out. But I'm not going to sit there and play this game with these fucking people. I'm not doing it. $23 for like 32 miles Uber X share. This is the third Uber X share I've had like back to back. I ain't driving no motherfucking Uber X share. No. $12 for like 13 miles with a $6 bonus. Nope. Doubt it. Doubt it. Make that $24. I would have took it. But for $12, nah. Fuck that shit. Like I said, this is a holiday. So if they can't pay money on a holiday, I'm not fucking touching it. I ain't touching it. That shit can sit right where it is. $7.66. $7.66. So they trying to pay me $3.00 to go 13 miles is what they trying to pay me. $3 to go 13 miles. Then say, well, we're going to give you $4.75 on top of that. That was $3 for 13 miles. And then saying, well, we're going to give you a $4.75 bonus if you take it. Fuck that. No, not taking that. I'm not stupid. You don't pay somebody $3 to go 12 miles because that's not a surge no more. It's not a surge. Look at that. That's $8 to go 16 miles, 50 cent a mile. Throw a $4 surge on that. These aren't surges. They're tanking our fares right now. They're still in the fairs and then saying, well, just act like you threw a surge on it. No, it's still bullshit. It's still bullshit. You don't steal the fair and then turn around and say, well, we're going to add surge to it. No, you're you're basically just adding the fair back. You took the fair and you're putting the fair back on. A surge is a bonus. It's an in addition to. If you're not giving us something in addition to the fair, then it's not a surge. It's not a bonus. You just took the fair away and gave it right back. You're like, hey, you want to borrow $5? Give me that $5 back. Okay, here's $5 back. Then you really didn't give me $5 on top of $5. You gave me five, took five away and said, well, hey, here's a $5 bonus. I still ended up with $5 at the fucking end because you gave me five, took away five, and gave me five back. I mean, motherfucker, I know how to do goddamn math. I'm not a fucking kid. You don't sit there and give somebody some money, take it away, and say, but I'm going to give it back to you, and we're going to call that a bonus. It's not a bonus. Look at that. Eleven dollars, eleven eight. That's five dollars to go thirteen miles, and they are gonna throw me six dollars on top of that. That's five dollars to go thirteen miles, and they say, "But we are gonna give you a six dollar bonus on top of that." I ain't getting shit on top of that. Keep that shit. I don't even want it. Keep that shit. Like these people out there, motherfucking mine, man. I'm gonna turn right here real quick because I think the surge is right here. So I'm gonna park my shit right here by this little veterinary hospital. I'm gonna sit in this parking lot. Yeah, these motherfuckers are straight tripping. I'm like, this is not fucking surges right now. Look at that, ten dollars, seven seventy, three dollars, three dollars to go seven miles this is what they giving me. Three dollars to go seven miles. We say we're gonna give you seven seventy five. Really, it's even less than three dollars. It's like two dollars because the surge is seven seventy five. So if the surge is seven seventy five, you're giving me ten bucks. Two dollars, really. Two dollars to go five miles, and then saying we're gonna give you six dollars on top of that. Man, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. $2 to go fight and say, hey, we gonna, but we're going to give you $6. You ain't giving me shit because I'm not taking it. It's like, motherfucker, I don't play that shit. I don't know who y'all think I am. I'm not that guy. I'm a little too sharp for that shit. Is that if you don't want to pay somebody, you know, just don't pay. Don't have us out in these fucking streets. Just say, you know what? You know, we did all right with you guys. $10. They're giving me basically $4 to go like 10 miles. They're giving me $4 to go 10 miles and saying, well, we're going to give you $6 on top of that, though. No, you're not. You're keeping that shit. So I ain't doing that. Fuck that. You don't give me $4 to go 10 miles. That's 40 cents a mile. You're giving me 40 cents a mile. Then say, we're going to give you a $6 bonus, though. That's not a bonus. That's not a bonus. You took away my $5, then you gave me $5 back to so say you gave me a $5 bonus. Fuck that. Keep that shit. Not doing it. I'm telling you, man, we got to be smarter drivers out here. We got to fight back. This is how we fight back. $3. $3 to go 13 miles. They're giving me $3 to go 13 miles and saying, but we're going to give you $6. $3 to go 13 miles. $3. And then they said, but we're going to give you $6. Jeff, we're going to make it 924 for you. Man, you out your fucking mind. You are out your damn mind. This is the kind of shit I be telling people about what we deal with in Rod here. 
these raggedy motherfuckers right here, these thieves, these crooks. Who's going to give somebody $3 to drive 13 miles? $3. Then say, well, we're going to give you $6 though on top of that. Then you're not really giving me $6. You took money away from me to turn around and give it back. $11 to go, what, six miles? Mm, I could do it, but I'm not because you're giving me $5 to do that. So, no, I'm already pissed off now. So, you're going you're gonna to have to do better than that. You got to give me something at the grocery store right down the street. Give it like three miles for like fucking $12. Look at that. I'm not $10 for like almost 13 miles. And that's an Uber X shared again. I'm not even looking at that reservation because they, like I said, they stole from me. $12 to go like nine miles. Mm, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. Not doing any of this. You can just sit here and just fucking relax. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. This is what we do. Thanks for giving me nothing, motherfucker. That's about it. That's a Thanksgiving right there. $11 for 13 miles. Nah, we cool on that shit. We cool on that. I said, I can go down here and get this 775 right around the corner, but nah, I'm cool on that shit. It'll be $3 to go like what? Down past the 60? Mm. I don't know if I should go down there. It's just right around the corner. I'll give them one more chance to give me a good route. They'll give me a shitty route. I'm going to go around and get that 775. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. You got one more chance, ragamuffins. Actually, yeah. 20 miles, $14. Yeah, that was your chance right there. All right, let's do like this. Let's go back on Paw Patrol. Boop, boop. All right, let's go get the 775. See what kind of reservation they talking about. Which is probably like seven miles, 20 bucks. See, all these reservations to the airport be like $20. Which is cool because I used to do those. I would do those and I'd turn around and get like fucking, you know, seven, eight dollars tips. So it'll be $27, $30 for these little short trips. I would do that every fucking morning. Do like three of them, 80 bucks. Quick $80 first thing in the morning. And motherfuckers like, well, why ain't you doing it, dog? Get the money. Fuck them. It's the principle. It's the principle. So if you're going to sit there and play us out as drivers, all of us as drivers, fuck you and your app. You playing me, you playing everybody. It's the principle about it. You stealing our fucking tips, you bullshitting and playing these games. It's the principle. So if one of us go down, we all got to go down. Fuck that. We all going down. A lot of motherfuckers going to be out there greed trying to get that money. Cool. We doing this shit even for you raggedy motherfuckers. We even doing this for y'all. We declining these fucking rides even for y'all. Because even y'all deserve better, even if you're not standing next to us. Y'all deserve better too. Just like when motherfuckers go on strike and we don't go on strike, they still striking for us, even though we don't go on strike. They still doing that shit for us. They doing that shit for our benefit. So I respect that. I respect that. But they can't expect everybody to strike just because they do. Just like we can't expect everybody to drive the way we drive just because we do. 775, let's go get this fucking money. So we do this shit for everybody. We do this for everybody, not just for ourselves. And there's a lot of drivers out there that don't have the fucking ability. Don't have the because they don't got the market to do the shit that we do. So we do it for them. I know I'll get some good rides after I kick some shit out. I know that. I'm cool with that. But a lot of drivers ain't gonna get it like that. They kick out rides, they might not get another fucking ride for another two, three hours. I do this shit for them. I do this shit for them. Cause this is who we are. All of us are like that. When you got UAW striking, when you got one motherfucker walking up the line, you got 50 walking off the fucking line. They doing that shit for everybody. And once ride shares start standing together like we got fucking balls, let the strikers strike if they want to strike. Those of us that don't strike, this is what we do. We out here showing that we're available to work, but if you ain't paying us, decline, cancel, drive by, fuck it, call patrol. That's what we doing. Like I said, we do this shit for everybody. We don't just do it for, you know, just a few of us. No, everybody's doing it. Let's get off of Paw Patrol, see what they got. Let's see what kind of shit they're going to give me now. Probably give me some shit rides. Because I'm right by the 775 right now. $14. Look at that. I got 775. They're going to pay me $7 to go down there 12 miles, 11, 12 miles. Nope. Nope. Not doing it, not doing it. This is the kind of shit they 
twelve dollars to go like eight nine miles with a seventy seventy five bonus. No, so they give me five dollars to go like nine miles. Nope, I don't do fifty cent a mile trips. Don't do that shit. I don't do that. What else you got down the pipe? Give me something that's like four or five miles for like fucking twelve, thirteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. Uh, what is that? About seven miles. It's two dollars a mile. Let's take it. Two dollars a mile. I'll take it. Two dollars a mile. That's fine. If I gotta go four miles and I gotta go turn around, and go three miles. So I get fourteen dollars. Two dollars a mile for this shit. All right, let's do it. Because one thing I'm not doing is no fifty cent a fucking mile. That's what I'm not doing. So they're giving me a dollar a mile right now and then giving me $7.75 on top of that to make it $2 a mile. Because the other shit they was doing was giving me $0.40 cents a fucking mile, had me do a nature hike for $0.40 cents a mile, and then throwing some shit on there. Oh, but we're going to give you $6, and the shit still don't equal a dollar a mile total when I'm finished with the trip. Tell you, you can't let these apps do that shit to you. We do this shit for everybody. We do the math for everybody. We make sure everybody eats right by showing people this is what you do. Fuck these apps. They don't give a fuck about us. This is a holiday right now. Motherfuckers should be happy as a motherfucker instead of riding around cussing these raggedy bastards out. Instead, we sitting there trying to get our motherfucking money while they trying to play us. Fuck them. Trip right there, fourteen forty-two for that. And now, you know, this is where I was down by like where the five fifty is and stuff like that. So now they got me up by where there's no surge. I got Paw Patrol on right now because I'm not about to be out here driving for no surge. Fuck that shit during the holiday season. No surge. No, I'm cool on that shit. I can go downtown, I can go to the airport, I can go anywhere I want to go around here to get surge, except right where the fuck I am. <laughs> These raggedy motherfuckers, boy, I'm telling you, they know how to fuck a position your ass where it ain't no motherfucking surge. And they do that shit on purpose. They be like, well, he's going to be dropping off here, so take all the surge away where he's dropping off so we can hurry up and send him up with another trip right behind that with no, nah. Because that's how you end up doing trips all fucking night with no surge. You let them keep dropping you off in areas of no surge, and all of a sudden, you just sitting there doing all these goddamn 50 cent a mile trips all night. They making bank on your ass. Everybody's paging surge. They, everybody getting surge pricing right now. Everybody getting surge pricing. But yet, they not paying you surge pricing because you keep accepting these bullshit trips. It's like, nope, nope. So what I'm about to do is drive up, just drop down where that 350 is right there. Kick back, see if I can't get some a uh, couple of quick little short hops over to the dorms and everything. I mean, it's probably like a mile down the road. It ain't too far. It's just right around the bend. So I'm going to go up here, see if I can collect some of these little quick-ass trips or whatever. Hey, like, let's do it. This is what we're doing. Hopefully, I can get down to where that 550 is, do a little couple of short trips in that area so I ain't got to go nowhere. But I don't know. We'll see how this night goes. Like I said, it's Thanksgiving night, and these raggedy motherfuckers are not paying nothing. If you taking tra trash, they giving you trash. That's just how the shit works. Some music. Let me see what we got. I got it on Paw Patrol right now. Let's turn it on regular and see what they got on regular unleaded looking ass. Let's see what they got. Because like I said, these apps tonight, yeah, they ain't even acting right. They not acting right. We got 350 sitting right here. I'm on Mill Avenue. Let's see if I can get something real short. Seven. Look at this. Going all the way to the airport. I got a 375 surge. That's going to the airport. They're trying to pay me like three dollars. Three dollars to take somebody to the airport. They paying me $3 to take somebody to the airport. You know they charging these motherfuckers like $60 to go to the airport. They charge, they trying to pay me $3. Talking about, yeah, but you got a $3.50 bonus. Man, you out your fucking mind. Look at that shit. 1965 to go goddamn 17 miles away. Doubt it. Doubt it. That's how these apps are doing. Look at that. $3.75 included for a $7.61. That's less than $3. Less than $3. Well, $4. Less than $4, rather to take somebody to the airport. Less than $4 on a holiday to take somebody to the airport. Y'all looking at that shit right there. They saying, okay, 761, you can take somebody to the airport because we giving you a 375 bonus. Man, they probably charge somebody, like I said, man, $20, $30 to go to the airport. Tell about we're gonna give you $3. But because you got a surge, we're gonna pay you 761. Man, get the fuck out of my face. Ain't no way in hell I ever take somebody to the airport for no fucking $3. That's less than what you give in the airport for the airport fee. And the airport ain't even putting shit in no fucking trunks. They not loading in no luggage. They ain't doing shit. Let me ever turn this motherfucker on, back on Paw Patrol because they ain't got shit jumping over here. They took my surge away. So they took me off of Paw Patrol, took my surge away. So I'm going to go over to Lyft real quick, see what Lyft's got jumping. Because like I said, I'm going I'm to sit on that surge for a minute. I'm going to see what Lyft's got going over here, see if they got something. All right, Lyft's on right now. Let's see what Lyft's got going right now. If they can do better than, than $2 a mile, I'll take it.
If they still on that dollar a mile shit. No, I'm not going to Scottsdale. Not for no eight dollars shit. That's like crazy. It's fucking eight dollars drive way to fuck up to Scottsdale. No, I'm cool on that shit. Six dollars for that? Nah, it's behind me. I'm not going back behind me. I'm already down the street. You gotta give me something in front of me. Like I said, I'm a real picky fucking driver. I don't play that shit. That's why if, if a driver picks you up, tip that motherfucker, because it might be somebody like me who don't give a shit. Because I don't like these apps. These apps be playing games all the fucking time. So I don't give a fuck if you're a block behind me. I'll just decline that shit. So if a driver's do U-turning and doing all that shit for you, trust me, tip them. Tip them. What was that, five for ten? Nah, I'm cool on that shit too. Not doing that. $10 to go five miles? Nope, I'm good on that shit right now. So I'm cool with the little $3 bonus, but man, ain't, if it ain't worth nothing, I'm not turning around. What is that? Nah, this is going up to Scottsdale for $9. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool on that shit. What else we got? What else we got, Liv? Come on. You got to have something better than that. You've been throwing some fucking strikes. You about to fucking, I'm about to sit your ass down in a minute. You about to next batter up, Uber. <laughs> like, fuck, I'm about to put Uber back up the bat. You motherfuckers keep fucking swinging at this shit and missing every fucking time. I'm about to go up here and park right here and kick back and relax and do some algebra on they motherfucking ass. Let me calculate some of these old ragged ass rides. Let's park right here real quick. Let's see what we got. Oh, two miles, two miles. Let's take that. Let's take that. That's right behind me. Where are we at? Oh, live. Oh, okay. That's at the apartments right behind me. Never mind. Never mind. I thought we was gonna have to go back down on mill. I was like, cool. We ain't gotta go on mill. Perfect. Perfect. And let me put it on navigate and put it on fucking last stop so they can't do shit real quick. All right. There we go. Request is off. That way they can't add no fucking ride on my ass. <laughs> I'm a smart motherfucker. They'd be like, hey, just add a ride. Nope, nope. You can't add no stop now. Sorry. Because it's like, shit, I'll take this five bucks for like a mile. That's cool. I'll do that. But I'm not about to be doing no whole fucking a lot of crazy shit out here in the streets. Nope. Five dollars a mile. Let's get that out the way. Then I'll come back by and do something else. There, back at Uber real quick to make sure Uber's doing okay. Let's see what do we got. Yep, Uber's still in the same predicament right now. Like I said, they still got basically nothing. A bunch of shit trips. Um, let me go back over to Lyft. See if Lyft's gonna give me something that worth taking. Probably won't. All right, hold up for a second. Let me scoot up through here real quick, and these motherfuckers need to all move out the way. I'm telling you, boy, people don't know. They don't know. And I'm getting away from ASU. I'm going down the street the other fucking way. Let's go the other way. Because this shit is about to get crazy over here. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go down this way right here. I'm off lift right now. Let's go online and see what we got. If they give me a dollar surge, that's where I'm going offline. $8 for eight miles? Nope, doubt it. We're not doing that. We don't do $8 for eight miles. $2.50 bonus? We'll do something short. Let's see what you got over here. Give me something short and I'll take it. Three miles, $7. $11 for like 13 miles? No. Nah. Almost 12 miles right there. Nope, nope. We're not doing that. What else you got left? What else you got? I'm going to pull in this little parking lot right here and kind of kick back and relax for a second while I do some algebra. Fuck these motherfuckers. Him and they got them ride share math quizzes and shit. Like, how much is this for that? How much is that for this? Motherfucking math quizzes. All right, let's park real quick. It's time for fucking math class. Send me some motherfucking equations. Come on. Where are we, where are we at? Let's go over to Uber real quick. See what these raggedy motherfuckers got. Let's go back on UberX off of Paw Patrol. It was it. I was keeping that surge riding for a second. Let's see what they're going to get me over here now. Probably nothing. Man, look at that. Ain't shit out here. $7.95 for an UberX share. All right, what we got on Lyft going on over here? No, nah, definitely not that. $12 for 12 Nah. What we got on Uber over here? $7.42 for that. Uh. All right, they got too much going on right now, so I had to do a whole bunch of fuckery right there to clear everything out. 
because they kept throwing me dumb shit over and over again. So let's see what they got over here. You're in a bonus zone. What kind of bonuses do we got? Show me what we're working with. Yeah, I'm gonna get away from ASU because right now they got, it's just a bunch of kids at the bar right here. So I'm gonna get away from this fucking bar. And it's not bad, but like, they're, they're not gonna tip. So it's a waste of my fucking time being over here because usually these ASU kids, they don't tip. They just happy to get a fucking ride. And they go, oh yeah, man, we got a nice fucking car, man. It only costs us $3. Be bragging and shit like that. Can't believe it, man. We got a fucking BMW M3 for like fucking six bucks. I'm like, yeah, not this motherfucker. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to the other side of the fucking continent right now, getting away from these motherfuckers. Listen to me some music for a while, and I'll fuck with y'all in a minute. Sitting back over by Mesa, and there's no surge out there. I mean, this shit's like way on the other side of town. That's on a reservation. That's on a reservation all the way on the other side of the 202. There's a casino or some shit over there like that. There's a casino. So they're trying to pay people $10 in surge to go over there. But from anywhere you are, it's 20 fucking miles. So basically the surge is 50 cent to get there. So, I mean, the best they, they should put a $50 fucking bullet on it because nobody's driving over there way for fucking $10 because anybody who even remotely is out driving tonight ain't nowhere near that fucking casino over there. So here I am by Mesa. They got like a $3 surge sitting over there. I'm sitting on a three fifty dollars right now. Walmart and all that shit's like the hospital is right down Dobson. Banner is right there. So I'm hoping I don't get that fucking hit because, you know, you pick up somebody from Banner. It's probably going to be somebody in a wheelchair and I ain't got space for that tonight. So, man, I don't know. I'm thinking about going off for Paw Patrol and seeing what's out there. But shit, it ain't nothing but garbage out there right now. Break after Anna's trip and I'm kicking back. And there, I'm sitting in a $4 surge zone right now. And I should have recorded what it was doing, but I was like trying to get out of my damn zone. Man, these motherfuckers. This is the kind of shit they send to me. $5 for something like that. That's about seven miles right there for $5. And they add another four. Man, I'm like, no. You got to take away the surge. Don't look at the $4 surge. Look at the subtract the $4 and that's what you're getting for that ride as far as a fare goes. That's why I tell people a surge should be bonus. That right there is not bad. Six miles for eleven twenty six, not quite two dollars a mile. But I'm not doing that. It's like not with a four dollar surge. The four dollar surge you only paying me seven dollars right there. It's like it wasn't a bad trip, but it's like it's not good. Yeah, I could do better than that. I don't have to go six, seven miles. I can go like four miles. Four miles for like ten bucks. And that's what they're trying not to do. Like something like that. That right there is seven miles for nine. That's worse than the last trip that was for 11. The 11 trip was better than that one. And it's like, this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to get people. They were sending me like nature hikes a second ago and I wouldn't take none. So they're kind of upset. Like that's worse. $15. I mean, 15 miles for $11. Really, that's like seven. Because like I said, take away the $4 out of the 11. It's like a $7 trip. So it's almost 50 cent a mile right there. You know, $12 for, you know, almost 11 miles. Nope, not doing it. And you can see that I'm just going to sit here in this surge zone and I'm going to wait till a short trip pops up. Like all of this stuff, $20 for that? Nope. I don't know why they think that drivers are going to take these trips. I'm one of the only drivers probably in Mesa right now. And this is the best they can do. Like $9 for like 12 miles and stuff like that. That's the best they can do right now. So I'm not taking none of these trips. I'm just kind of kicking back, relaxing. If they don't give me anything, cool. Did I just, you know, it's already midnight. I've declined every reservation they tried to get me to take. I'm not doing any of their reservations. So people can get to the airport in the morning, however they can get there. Look at that, $25 for, what's that? 24 miles, nope. So I'm doing everything in my power to make sure they realize, like these trips, $10 for 10 miles with a $4 surge, that's $6. That's 60 cents a mile right there. So I'm not trying to do no 60 cents a mile trips right now. In a minute, they're going to realize that I'm not taking none of this shit and they're going to actually give me something that's real short. They're going to give me something from a little restaurant or a bar around the corner, you know, four or five miles, $10. Oh, there it is. Let's hurry up and get it off. I'm on Uber Pet now. See, they, when they take that surge away, I put that shit on Uber Pet real quick because I'm not doing no trips. They already showing me over here. There's no trips over here. How the hell did they do that? I got it on Uber Pet. How did they just do that? Yeah, I don't know how they did it if I'm on Uber Pet. Here's some right here. 7.15 in the morning. I don't do morning. Sorry. Yeah, but they they trying to get it. How 
are they doing this? I'm not even on Uber right now. How are they doing this? Oh, I had it on Uber X Shared. Okay. No wonder they was doing it. I had it on Uber X Shared. All right. That's how they were doing it. I still had it locked on Uber X Shared. I thought I turned Uber X off. But yeah, so I'm not, I'm gonna get out of this area right here because there's no good trips over here. So I need to get out of here and probably head back towards just down by my house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Southern right there, go to the West a little bit, and then I'll turn it back on once I get out of Mesa, get closer back to Tempe, have some shorter trips. But it's like, yeah, there's nothing really over here. Everybody here is trying to go from bars all the way back down to Gilbert, Chandler, shit like that. It's not really what I'm into right now. So once these apps start, you know, getting their fares right, and they start getting, they start paying right. We'll start doing more rides. I just don't see how they're making any profits if we're not doing these rides. Like I said, there's not a lot of people out here for sure. We're a limited number of drivers out here at this time of night. So whoever's doing these rides, yeah, you guys are, you're burning yourself, you know, at both candle ends right now. You're going to have nothing but a fucking big ass puddle of wax sitting there in the fucking morning. <laughs> and I was on Paw Patrol right down the street from here, right over here. I came over and I got a $9 surge now. So I'm sitting on nine bucks. Let's see how well this shit goes. They're going to start sending me nature hikes right off the bat. I already know it. Because for nine bucks, see, like I said, they're going to start sending me nature hikes right off the bat. $21. They're saying three miles away for seven miles south. That's really not happening right there. That's way more than seven miles south. That's a shot. So I'm looking for something shorter. Anything under 10 miles, because I got a $9 surge, so I can make it $2 a mile. Some under 10 miles is perfect for what I'm trying to do right now. Another nature hike. $19 for like 23 miles. And that's with $9. That's with $9. They're trying to give me $19. So $10 for like 23 miles. Look at all this shit. No, that's 28 miles, 21 miles for 18, $20 for $22. And I got a $9 surge. This is with the $9 surge I'm sitting on. So they're trying to give me $9 for 21 miles right now. That's what they're trying to give me. So, hey, we're going to give you another nine on back end of that. No, no, you don't do that. With a $9 surge, that should be a bonus. That should be a bonus. Nobody's getting $9.54 to go 21 miles. This is with $9. They're paying me $6 to go like 11 miles. Don't think so. We're not doing that. We're not doing $6 to go 11 miles. No, we're not doing that. So my $9 has to be a bonus. So I'm looking for something real short, something worth my time. Like I said, they, they got some good surges out there right now, but... I can't let them burn my surge. I can't let them do it. They've got to come better than that. They've got to come better than that. So right now I'm just waiting for them to give me something short, like something three miles away, four mile trip, seven miles total, probably $18. I could do something like that, but they probably won't do it because they're trying to send a lot of 40, 50 cent a mile trips out right now and then throw $9 on top of that. Like I can clearly see what they're doing, but it's just up to us to kind of break this shit down and say, yeah, we're not going to allow them to do that to us. We're going to do this the right way. We're going to wait it out and not let them burn a good $9 surge because that's free money right there. They just gave me that the one that was way down seven miles south. It would have took me seven miles down this way and there would have been nothing down there because it would have been all the way down McQueen Road or something like that. Because it was four miles one way, so I would have went four miles this way, then straight down. I would have ended up right here in nowhere. So that's not what I wanted to do. Like, nah. So I'm kind of just kicking back right now, relaxing. We'll see what they send me. $20 for 23 miles. And that's with $9. So that's $11 for that. $11 for 23 miles is what they wanted to give me. $11 for 23 miles. They're, they're pushing less than 50 cent a mile right now on Thanksgiving. These are Thanksgiving trips right now. All Thanksgiving trips. So drivers are not, we're not playing that shit tonight. We're really not doing it. Because if we're out here working, we could be at home sleeping right now, watching motherfucking Netflix, making cookies and shit right now. Yeah, sixteen dollars, seven dollars for damn near eighteen miles. Seven dollars for damn near eighteen, seventeen, eighteen miles. No, no, we're not doing that. That surge is not a bonus. Trust me, they've been fucking with people all the time. Oh yeah, we're gonna give you an extra bonus. That's not a bonus if you're doing that. If you're taking the fare away, you're taking the fare away. It's like call it what it is. You're reducing the fare down to the floor, forty cents a mile, fifty cents a mile, and then say, but we're gonna give you a bonus on top of that. You're not giving me a bonus then. Don't don't try to play like we stupid and we don't know what we're doing. We've been doing this long enough. We know what a bonus feels like. We know what a surge feels like. It's like them giving these fucking quests. If you do 30 trips, we'll give you an extra $10. No, hell no. We, we're not doing that. 
You can even look at some of the shit I'm doing. Look at that. 10 trips, $31, 24 miles. No, we're not. That's way the fuck up. Got to go up to Scottsdale to pick somebody up, then take them farther up north. Yeah, no, doubt it. Look at that. I got to do 10 more trips to get $10. That's 50 cents. 50 cents a trip is they pay me as a bonus, as a quest bonus. 50 cents a trip. Ain't no way in hell. Look at that. That's $3. $3 to go 12 miles almost. $3 to go 12 miles. But they said, oh, we're going to give you a $3 bonus, a $9 bonus, though. $3 to go 12 miles. There's no fucking way. 12 miles should be at least $9. Then add that. That'll be $18. $18 I should have got for that. They're trying to give me $12 on an $18 trip. No. Doubt it. Doubt it. We're not doing that shit. Look at that. Right there. Another one. Once again, they're giving me $3 to go almost 10 miles. That's 30 cents a mile they're paying me right there. 30 cents a mile. This surge is not, not a bonus. They know what they're doing. $16 for 16 miles with $9. Now nah, we're cool. We're cool on that shit. Like I said, in the minute I'm gonna have to get up out of this area because they ain't really doing shit over here right now. Like I said, none of these surges are really surges anyway, unless they're short trips, super short trips at that. Because even they're giving us trips, you know, eight or nine miles, 10 miles, they're making them 30 cents a mile, 30 cents a mile. And then saying, hey, at this 30 cents a mile, we'll give you nine dollars. We'll pay you twelve dollars to go 12 miles. It's like, no, I got a nine dollar surge. How you gonna pay me twelve dollars to go 12 miles and nine dollars of that is a bonus. That shit don't make no sense. Don't make no damn sense. And I'm not going to be that driver out there getting played like that. I'm really not. So, hey, they could try what they want to try, do what they want to do. I'm not doing it. Look at that. $23 to go 19, almost 20 miles. That's what a nine. No, doubt it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, $7. All right, let's hear them go to Paw Patrol because they're starting to take money away now. All right, so now we're going to go on Paw Patrol. We got $10 up north a little bit. So they're giving me $7 right where I'm sitting, but it's $10 up there, $11 up the highway. Yeah. I said, none of this shit's worth nothing. None of us. Yeah, I'm not going for that $10. That's way up out of my fucking way. Nope. All right, let's start heading back over towards the college. Because like I said, I'm not about to sit over here and, and fucking let them play me. Because what they're trying to do is to get me to go farther south. And once they start dropping a the surge, then they, they know they're done. That area's dried up. It's dried up. Ain't no rides over here. All the rides they tried to give me were all nature hikes any fucking way, so I need to get out of this area and go somewhere else. So, let's head back towards the college. And sure enough, I got a $7 surge. They probably make a trip cost $8. They're probably say, yeah, we'll give you 97 cents on that fucking trip. We're going to make it an $8 trip, and even though you got a $7 surge, yeah, okay. Shh, doubt it, motherfucker, doubt it. Like I said, you got to look at these numbers, man. These numbers make sense. They make sense. A lot of motherfuckers, you know, they looking at this shit. They don't know how to calculate it fast. I'm like, oh, shit, $12 for 12 miles. But what about your bonus? There's a bonus on there. That means they're paying you $3 to go 12 miles is what they're paying you. $3 to go 12 miles. Then they're saying, but we're going to throw a $9 bonus on top of that trip. Then that's not a bonus. I mean, don't be stupid. That's not a bonus. You know exactly what that is. You're getting fucked and you know it. So don't let them fuck with you like that. Just take off. Call that shit good. Take off. So I'm not about to sit up there and play these games with these fucking people. Nope, nope. So now I'm coming up over here by and coming close to my part of town again. They got ten dollars over by my house. Damn, ten bucks by my house. Wood, wood. But I'm kind of too far from it to go get it. I'm not finna shoot over there and try to get that shit. What I am gonna do is cruise over here and wipe the car down real quick while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to wipe these fingerprints and shit off my fucking car while I'm thinking about it. Because I've done about five or six trips and these motherfuckers, they got damn dirty ass fucking hands. It's like, all right, let me park right about here. Do this shit. Leave it on Paw Patrol. I'm going to let the windows down. Oh, shit, I got $8 popped up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I just washed the car down. Let's go back to UberX and see what kind of trips they offer now. Let's see what they got coming down the pipe tonight. I don't even know what surge zone I'm in right now. Let's see. 
Nope, seventeen dollars for seventeen miles with eight dollars included. Nah, doubt it. That's crazy. Seventeen dollars for seventeen miles with eight dollars included. That's basically nine dollars to go seventeen miles. Fifty cents a mile is what they're offering. Look at that, two dollars and sixty-two cents to go damn near nine miles. Two sixty-two to go damn near nine. That's crazy shit. Two dollars and sixty-two cents. I had an eight-dollar surge on that. How you gonna pay me ten sixty-two? That's crazy shit. This is nuts right here. I ain't never seen Uber. Uber's pulling lift shit right now. Look at that. $2.36 to go like five miles. That's 50 cents a mile right there. They out they fucking mind. Now I'm getting $4 on my next trip. Four bucks. So you took some money away from me. These raggedy motherfuckers. Yeah. I think I'm probably done for the night. Yeah, I think that's it. I, that's my night. I think I'm done driving Uber for tonight. Because these motherfuckers ain't paying shit right now. Even with Surge? Fuck no. Look at that shit. Uber X share after that. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done for the night. Fuck this shit. Because these motherfuckers ain't paying nothing. Look at that. Fucking $13 for like 20 miles. That's with a Surge. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to call it good. Fuck that Surge. 29, look at all these nature hikes and shit. Yep. $14 for what? That That's $14 for damn near 20 fucking miles right there with a $4 thing. Man, these motherfuckers is nuts. $10.51. Man, look at all these horrible fucking trips. Yeah, let's turn this shit off. All right, I'm done. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm done for the night. I'm going to go back online because it's fucking busy. It ain't busy. It's shitty out. Get the some, oh man, go back, it's, it's high demand right now. Yeah, but it's low fucking prices right now. Ain't nobody trying to drive for that shit on fucking Thanksgiving. And y'all, y'all motherfucking mind. Y'all crazy.